everybody can hear me. I uh, tried messing around with different audio settings that I found in um, on Reddit and I guess like OBS like help forums. So I'm hoping that the audio doesn't sound crunchy from now on and I'm hoping that it doesn't randomly go out from now on with the microphone just um, randomly uh, going out. So that way I hopefully now from now on I don't have to unplug and plug things back in. Um, I, I found a lot of things that could affect it apparently with OBS because uh, apparently OBS is a pretty buggy piece of software when it comes to audio recording or not even audio recording um it's actually still a little crunchy damn um what could be causing that because i turned off desktop audio i added the microphone audio as a new source that's really annoying because like i spent a good few hours today just researching like different um Uh, just researching like different causes for it and what could be causing it. And I can't find any like solid cause for it. So let's see. Yeah, because it only happens in OBS. So, so let's try this. I think I found something. Um, I gotta go to settings on my PC. Uh, let's see. It isn't a stream if there isn't scuff, but the thing is, like, this has been happening every single stream. So that's what's annoying. Uh, devices. This doesn't even show up under my audio devices. Maybe that's why. Nope, that, that might be it. Oh, no, hold up. Microphone? Maybe if I put the microphone microphone setup? No, that's not it. So all results. Sound settings. Device properties. Additional device properties. There we go, I think this is it. Advanced. The crackling appeared again for me at 48 uh, kilohertz, even after setting the same frequency in the system and OBS, but it works with a good 44 kilohertz. Well, I can only choose 48 kilohertz. Let's see, is it because I have it set to one channel or two channels? Let's try one channel. Apply. Um, and let's see, and then now I gotta go into OBS settings, file settings, and then go to audio, four, 48 kilohertz mono, okay, so I can't change that. NVIDIA Broadcast Accessibility. Do I even have NVIDIA Broadcast? I don't think I do. No, I don't have that installed. Okay. All right, um, is, it, is it sounding any better or is it still the same? Because if so, maybe I need to remove uh, Maybe I need to remove it and then re-add it. 
sounds better okay maybe that's why maybe my windows settings was at a different frequency than uh obs and it was just conflicting so i'm hoping that it's better now um but yeah i hope everybody's day has been going well um for me i am trying to power through uh i had today off from work which was good but um I didn't really do much. I mostly just played like Genshin and then I finished rewatching Avatar The Last Airbender, which is fine, you know, it's, it's like a, it's, it's a good way to relax. But um, I think for me, it's just, I've just been so conditioned to try to base um, how well my day went based on how productive I was, which just kind of feeds into the whole uh, being burnt out uh, so hopefully, uh, over time, I can train my brain to not do that. <laughs> I, I'm sure many of you can relate to that. Uh, but yes, hello everybody. Thank you for joining in. Uh, I appreciate you being here. Um, I was planning on playing more Genshin. Uh, played a little bit earlier to just kind of get my characters leveled up. Uh, I got Keqing all the way to level 60. Um, and I got... Um, uh, who, who was the other character? I got some other character level 50, I think, but I forget who it was. Uh, so yeah, so let me close out of these windows because I don't think we we need it now. So yeah, so I, I messed around with OBS a lot today. Um, like I, I removed, uh, so I disabled like the microphone audio that was built into OBS. I, uh, removed i disabled the like uh obs like desktop audio and then what i did was i added the microphone as a separate audio source again rather than the native obs uh, audio driver and then i uh, set up a new um, application audio capture which apparently is still in beta for obs so we'll see how that goes um, for any video games that I pull up rather than just have it go directly through desktop audio. So I'm hoping that that works, but we will see. So let me let me boot up Genshin. And I don't know if we'll, I, I'll try to go for as long as we can because I woke up at like six in the morning, which is normally when I wake up. So, uh, I am feeling a little bit tired, but my wife made me green tea, um, and she's awesome for that. And I'm hoping that the caffeine will help me stay awake, and we'll try to go for as long as we can. I don't know if we'll do Genshin the whole time. We might do some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, uh, since uh, we're we're still very much in the beginning of that. I would say we're still in the prologue of that because we're still in the we just finished the flashback um, with Sephiroth. And for those who weren't around for that, uh, the audio or the VOD is up on YouTube. But the audio, again, gets crunchy throughout like the middle of the uh, stream. And um, unfortunately, there's just not really anything I can do about that in post. It's just what it is. Also, I had Taco Bell for dinner. So um, I, for anybody who uh, is, it's dinner time for them, I hope that you... Uh, had a wonderful dinner for me it was it was cheap and it was uh satisfying i guess i mean it's taco bell you, you kind of when you get taco bell you kind of know what you're getting into uh yeah okay so genshin is open now for game audio i set that to genshin hit okay and then I will turn it back on. Hi, Ankle Biter. Thank you for joining in. Appreciate you being here. Okay, so game audio isn't picking up anything. Do you hear anything? Because I don't. Okay, now you should be able to hear it. You can hear? Okay, let me know if it's too loud because I had to completely set up everything again from scratch using a bunch of Reddit suggestions. 
So shout out to all the Redditors who uh, help with all, all the audio issues, all the audio engineers out there who uh, post advice online for free because uh, it is a huge help. While I sip my green tea, we will uh, try to orient ourselves in, um, in the game. But yeah, for anybody who missed the Final Fantasy VII stream, you missed a lot. It was uh, quite dramatic. We, we, we went through a lot of shenanigans. We played uh, the intro to Welcome to the Black Parade on the piano. Uh, we saw Sephiroth kill a whole town, uh, Cloud's hometown actually, and kill his mother, and then uh, kill Tifa's dad, and then seriously injure Tifa. <laughs> So yeah, we just saw Sephiroth um, fuck a whole lot of shit up, and uh, in the worst way possible, just causing a lot of trauma for Cloud. And we also learned that Sephiroth is still very much in Cloud's head, making him doubt everything. Yeah, also there was some suspicious uh, attitudes about like, some suspicious like plot reveals around Cloud's memories, like whether they were legitimately his memories or not, or like something going on, but we'll find out all about that later on. Oh, whoops. For anyone who's played Crisis Core, you already know, but for those who haven't, don't spoil it for those who haven't. Or for those who have, don't spoil it for those who haven't. Um, also, uh, I forgot to mention that um, if you have like a local like Chinese farmer's market near you, uh, there's apparently like a very popular uh, brand of Chinese ice cream that's like mango, peach, or lemon ice cream. And the way it's packaged is that it's it, it's like an ice cream shaped and colored to either look like a, a mango, a peach, or a lemon. And we couldn't find it. Like we, we tried to go around to like different um, like uh, sections of like our local farmer's market, like our local Asian farmer's market to find it because a lot of people uh, that we saw online were posting it saying that oh like they have it in stock like it's wonderful but it's it's expensive but you can find it here and we couldn't find it like it's just that popular like they were completely sold out of all the flavors so hopefully they restock soon um, we didn't have a chance to check other Asian markets because uh, I had to come back uh, to get rid of the stream uh, but yeah uh, if anybody has had it uh, please let me know if it's completely worth the $13 <laughs> Let's see, so what should- oh yeah, I need to be doing story quests. Reputation reward Mondstadt. What the hell is a reputation reward? I've never had mango ice cream. I've had peach ice cream though. Um, because when I lived in New York, there were a lot of ice cream and frozen yogurt shops that like had like peach ice cream, like peach sorbet. Um, it also had like peach chunk ice cream. There was like a peach yogurt ice cream flavored. So that way like, uh, so what it was Add essentially Astra that they Abyssalsk. made ice cream out of like yolk play, the adventurous like guild. peach flavored yogurt. And it was really interesting that they did that. Okay, where, where am I supposed to claim this shit? Hold up, let me open up my map again. Where is reputation reward? What the hell is reputation reward monster? That logo looks familiar, I just don't remember where it is. Oh yeah, also like I met Sucrose um, over here and uh, I got like the quest for the trading card game, but I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> After playing the trading card game in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I was like, I I'm, I've had enough. I don't want to do more of this. Where, where is this? Where do I go for this? Teleport to Mondstadt. I mean, I'm in Mondstadt. Hertha, overseer of goods and supplies for the Knights of Favonius. Increase your reputation for Mondstadt and gain the trust of its people, and she might even be willing to provide you some unique goods. So she's a Knight of Favonius, so maybe she's in the headquarters, which I think is up here. 
Every time I hear sucrose, I get uh, flashbacks to when I had to memorize sugar, sugar structures. Oh yeah, that's right, because you um, work in chemistry, don't you? Because, yeah, because it reminds you of chemistry as well. Um, and I think even like when you first meet sucrose, like her character card says just a simple sweet gal or something like that. And I found that really endearing. If you go north, it's a triangle symbol. You found her before. Did I go too north? Is she in the church or the, the cathedral, whatever it's called? Yeah, I remember I saw her before to initiate the quest. I just don't remember where. Oh, also, uh, the charity stream starts Monday, too. Uh, so tomorrow, I'll try to stream depending on what time I get back from the birthday party. But um, I, I, don't, I don't know how long it'll go for because um, it's like a Latino birthday party and I've never been to a Latino party before. And I heard it gets like pretty uh, like intense. Um, so I'm excited because there's also going to be tacos, and I I love homemade tacos. Uh, I also also love like authentic like uh, Mexican homemade tacos, and there are there I was told they're going to have plenty of that. And there's also going to be a pinata, so I'm excited for that as well. Even though understandably the the adults aren't allowed to. Uh, take a turn at hitting the piñata, it's, it's for the kids. Uh, so yeah, I, I mean, hopefully I'll be back in time for streaming. Worst case scenario, we start streaming a little bit late. But I mean, mon like starting Monday, we'll be I'll be streaming like every night for the charity stream. Um, we'll have Lethal Company, which is like, we'll have like an interactive Lethal Company for chat to like fuck with um, me, Jeremy, Tay. Um, and I think we're gonna have one other person join Lethal Company, and then Saturday uh, we'll be doing D&D uh, &D for charity as well for Care for Gaza. For anybody who wants to see uh, first-time players play D&D, &D. Uh, it'll be like a level one one-shot that I have. Um, but yeah, we should bring back pinatas for adult birthday parties. I I fully agree. That would be so much fun. Okay, so side- Oh, you said side of city gates. Oh, okay, I remember Hertha now. Alright, let's go see Big Hertha. Yeah, Lethal Company is gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah, it's uh... I think it's down here somewhere. It's where we saw Diluc as the Dark Knight. Yeah, it's down here. I, I grew up in a culture where piñatas weren't really a thing, so I've never really done piñatas. Like, I see them at stores all the time, but I've never actually had a piñata experience. How's my reputation in Mondstadt? Okay. My reputation is level 1. What is this? What the hell? Northern apple stew. Cool. I like apples. And I very much like baked apples, too. For anybody who hasn't had baked apples, they are very good. Especially if you take the uh, the apple and then you hollow it out and then you like stuff it with like um, crushed apple or like not crushed apples but like cubed apples or cut apples with brown sugar and cinnamon. And then it makes like kind of like a, an apple like bowl with like apple pie filling which is really good. But also very unhealthy. But still highly recommend. You can just wrap it in foil and then toss it in the oven for like a good like 15, 20 minutes at like a low temperature. Uh, let's see, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to go to, well I can't open up my recipes now. I have to go to a fire. I don't know, I, I don't, I, I really kind of stopped doing the cooking once I got Yao Yao. Like I, I just use her for like healing now. Try eating it with ice cream. Ooh, yeah, that's a that's a good idea. Like having like uh, the baked apples with ice cream. That sounds really good. Yeah, I I miss uh, because when you're an adult, if anything, uh, it should be socially appropriate for you to hit in inanimate objects in a safe environment without uh, scaring anybody. Uh, in a socially acceptable Welcome environment. To the adventure so guild. like rage rooms are very profitable but they're also very expensive because like sometimes as an adult you just need to put on like baggy clothes uh gloves 
closed-toed shoes, safety goggles, headphones, and just be given a sledgehammer to hit a bunch of things in a room where you're allowed to. It's very therapeutic from what I've heard. Baked apple roses are fun to make. Ooh. I had a friend in college who um, taught me how to like uh, make like apple tart roses um, by slicing apples and then uh, fashioning it into like a rose on an uh, apple tart. The game audio got really crunchy. What the hell is going on with OBS? If it's not the microphone, it's the game audio. And I don't think I can do anything about the game audio being crunchy. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure what's going on with the game audio. Uh, let me know if it's still happening and uh, I'll have to see what I can do. Maybe switch it back to desktop audio. So let's see, so we're, we're gonna do, that's right, we're doing story quests. Um, so we're gonna do calm before the storm, navigate, go back to Liyua Harbor. Baked apple plus vanilla ice cream is just so, yeah, I, I love um, I love uh, apples and ice cream. Like, apple pie with ice cream, like apple pie a la mode, I love it. It's so good. Like, I, I actually like apple pie a la mode more than I like brownie, a warm brownie with ice cream on top. Because chocolate is good, but chocolate can be, it can be too rich and it makes you thirsty and it's, it, you get sick of it after a, a bit. But with apple pie, it's like just enough where I don't get like sick of it if I have like a like a, a slice that's not too big. Excuse us, we come bearing news I of a it, matter I, I requiring your ice cream once that was spiced with cardamom, and it uh, altered my brain chemistry. It's all in this letter. Baked apple too. Ooh, I never had a uh, vanilla ice cream with uh, cardamom. Uh, that sounds pretty good. Definitely still crunchy. Yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna remove it. We're gonna take out the game audio. Um, I don't know if it'll let me remove it. Oh yeah, I can remove it. So I'm gonna remove it. Yep. Do you actually still hear it? Now it's saying that it's coming in through my microphone, which is weird. Let me know if you hear the game audio at all. And also let me know if my microphone is still crunchy because uh, if so, then uh, that, that'll be very unfortunate because I don't really know what to do at this point. Mic sounds good. Oh, you can't hear anything? Yeah, so that means that the audio just isn't coming in for the game. So here's what I'll have to do. I'll have to go to settings, I have to go to audio, Desktop audio, default, apply, okay. And then bring that down a little bit. And now you should hear the game again. If you don't, then I'm gonna toss my computer in the trash. A letter? Oh, I see. This again. Again. Oh, don't mind me. I was just speculating. Let me give this a read. Cool, yay. Hopefully that doesn't fuck with my uh, uh, microphone. Oh, it's loud? Okay, I got you. Uh, hold up. Uh, I just need to bring it back down. Uh, to like, uh, let's do like negative 10 decibels. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll help. Can we actually read this thing? Is it even written in the common tongue? Hmm. Yes, the script is inimitable by the uninitiated. Honored guests, you must both be wary from your long journey. Please allow the Feiyun Commerce Guild to be your host for tonight. Yeah, your audio's back to hell, yeah. Hopefully it stays that way. <laughs> Please rest assured that the matter written about has been duly received. We just Jing need some time to prepare. Jingqiu's handwriting? Oh yeah, Jingqiu has like terrible handwriting. Is this Griffin? Griff Griffin? Who's Griffin? Please rest assured that the matter written here. Okay. Please take a seat here in Leo Lee Pavilion, where you may enjoy some light refreshments while taking in the ocean view. Consider it a small token of our esteem. Thank you. Yay! Tasty snacks! They're giving.
giving us the VIP treatment. Oh, he's the VA for child. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Of course. We treat visitors with the utmost respect here at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Yeah, I imagine. When honored um, guests grace us with their presence, I imagine like a lot of from us to shirk our duty like, to them. Voice additional characters as well, because I know like with anime, that's what they do. Please, this way. Like if you're uh, familiar with Teen Titans, uh, the voice actor for Robin, he's also in Avatar: The Last Airbender, and they use him for a lot of characters, like a lot of side characters uh, in Avatar. Like, I think he's in every season. <laughs> and I know Ben, um, even when I'm he was uh, voicing Pedro and One Piece, he started off doing like, uh, like side character, like, uh, like ensemble voices in One Piece. And then even when he was Pedro, he was still doing like ensemble characters in One Piece because Funimation loves doing that where they just use the same uh, voice actors for like different roles rather than just casting uh, and going through the process of finding new people for like the smaller roles where it's just like one or two lines. Uh, Cause it, it's to them, it's just faster to pump out the product and get it by the deadline if, if they just use the same uh, voices. Paimon didn't think Guhua Geek had so much clout. Guhua Geek? Thank you for yeah, your patience. Yeah, Teen Titans was amazing. Like, I have a lot of fond memories of watching Teen Titans as a kid. With the amount of wealth and power Gentry Mounts I have, like, I spent the longest it will take time, more than a slap on the wrist uh, to get through that him. mad mod was Austin Powers. So I thought it was just some weird Austin Powers Teen Titans crossover. For him to correct the error of his ways, he must feel for himself the same suffering he has inflicted on Chang the Ninth. Since Gentry Maltzai's business has like to do they, with they Core Lapis, out of their way to we simply need to buy up all the stock there is in the awesome powers. That will put him in a rather sticky situation. Deprived of the necessary raw materials, even the best craftsperson in Tevat would be unable to make their product. Great idea! That'll be sure to mess things up between him and the Fatui. But Lira is huge. Is it really possible to buy up every last bit of Core Lapis in the harbor? With the time nice. scale we are on, it is indeed a challenge. Hence, as stated Why in the we letter, we must Lapis ask for your further cooperation in the, in the matter. First, there are a number of vendors in the city you will need to buy from. I've marked their respective locations on your map. Thank there you. is also some unsold core lapis at the chasm. You will need to purchase that too. Oh, okay. Finally, there is Chang the Ninth's batch. Alrighty, so three sellers in the city, another one at the chasm, and then Ching the ninth. Roger that! John Lee likes Core Lapis. Is that why we're doing this? Is it because he just likes Core Lapis? Of course. Lapis? We are not expecting you to cover the costs. Zhong Li is. He's fully expecting us wow. to cover the costs. Wow, so many more! Literally his essential material. Oh, okay, like gotcha. With cash this, Paimon could rent out Liu Li Pavilion and eat there for a whole month! <laughs> Well, this is not the first time we've had to do something like this. It's just par for the course now. Huh. All you need to do is strike a deal. The Feiyun Commerce Guild will handle the transportation and other trifling matters. Once you have purchased all the core lapis, yeah, please proceed material. to the Feiyun uh, Commerce a, Guild's warehouse a, where you can see the rest of the, the plan on full. The city, so that way nobody else can have it. Gotta hand it to Guhua Geek. This is some seriously solid work for a guy who lives in a fantasy world. Let's do this in this the order for, uh, the guy Rex said. First the sellers in this city. Sorry, Paimon. I didn't have time to listen to you fin uh, finish that. We have to go um, buy up every core lab lapis in the city. What if they just say no? Like, what if we try to buy up all the core lapis and then somebody just says, No, I'm not gonna let you do that. I'm not gonna sell it to Hi. you. Hi, anything that's I can do fair. for you? That's what I would do if I was a shopkeeper. Like, if I heard that, like, someone was going around the entire city and buying up all of one thing, I'd just be like, No, you can't, you can't want have it. All my core lapis? Uh, I've already agreed to several orders. Yeah, exactly. Well, that said, none are in writing. The buyers are being incredibly indecisive. Oh, okay. oh, it's for the Feiyun Commerce Guild? So nobody's actually placed hmm, an seems order Seems business yet, trends are about to change in Liyue. Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. Just talking to myself. Come, let us sign a contract. 
Okay. Don't worry about my prior client. He hadn't made any down payments or anything. Quite common in the industry. So he Thank you for your patronage. Order, we hope the Feiyu and Commerce Guild will continue to do business with us. That was easy. Okay, that's actually below us. Uh. Excuse me. Good day, my friend. Uh, my apologies, but I'm out of stock at the moment. Please try again next time. It's okay, so you just don't have it. Are, are you oh, I thought you were here to purchase Snezhnayan products. No, I that I still have. Kind of Although I ship it all to factories in Snezhnaya. I don't do retail. Oh. Too much hassle, not enough return. Sorry. Does we'll take it all still count as retail? What? Uh, no, 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 no. Give me a second to think. Um, yeah, that's probably never happened uh, all right, before. I'll do it. Just Ivanovich. need you to sign for it. It's funny because I think there isn't there a character in One Piece named Ivanovich. It's either Ivanovich or uh, Ivan Kov, and they're pretty much they're just basically Frankenfurter. Clearly, no shortage of cash flow in Lia. Nope. You pronounce it differently compared to everybody else. You said Liua. Everybody else said Liue. So which is it? Oi! Shh! Keep your voice down! Well, why do I gotta keep my voice down? I'll take all your call All of it? Though my business may not seem so big, I should warn you that I can get what you need. Both legitimately no, he's a and yeah, okay. yeah, that's true. not he's, yeah, so he's legitimately. Just, uh, he's a merchant from another. <laughs> Best area, you give right? me an actual number. Merchant. All of it would be far more than you actually want. It's for the Feyun Commerce Fe Guild. The Feyun Commerce Guild? Well, why didn't you say so? So I could see your reaction. If it's for the Feyun Commerce Guild. Then sign on the dotted line, and I'll start getting things in order right away. Thanks, buddy. Now we have to go to the chasm. And up we go. Where is the chasm? That's what I'm wondering. How do we get back up? Can we even get back up from this way? I don't think we can. Oh, I'm gonna want to teleport? Oh, okay. Holy shit, yeah, I thought it was in the city. This is much further out. Uh, we'll, we'll teleport here. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay, so now I remember the chasm. I had to go through the chasm to get to Sumeru. Still kind of far away. Oh boy. I wish you could like sprint, but like with flying. I wish you could do like a wave dash while you're flying. It, it would help with uh, traversing faster in the air. Fight you. Oh, there's an, okay, so there's an item that lets you do that. Then. Oh, I got this. So I gotta like, find that up here. With sword comes shadow. There we go. Speed of light. Reputation reward from Inazuma. Yeah, I don't think I'm anywhere close. Well, might as well pack it up and call it quits. Oh, 
I'll just rely on the goodwill of all the uh, people uh, in chat who help me, uh, who help me, uh, with the co-op. Hello there. Are you in charge of the core lab this year? Aha. Finally. I thought you might come. I hear the Feiyun Commerce Guild has been buying up all the Corlapa stock in Liu Harbor. Wow, word travels fast. As it happens, I do have a batch of Corlapis that hasn't been shipped yet. It's all yours, if you name the right price. I have a bad feeling about this. The original this. buyer's price was already quite high, so... Hmm. You're the lying. The best I can do is... You know that we want it, more. so you're setting it to whatever price you Are want. Are you serious? We spent less than two million more on the rest of Leo's stuff put together. Yeah, he I'm knows afraid that. it has to go to the highest bidder. I'm breaching an existing agreement by selling to you, so it has to be worth my while. It's poor fun to just raise the price without good grounds. Yeah, what Look, is this? America? You have your problems to deal with, and I have mine. You can take it or leave it. So if you're not buying, please leave me alone. Okay, fine. Let's walk away, and then he'll be like, "Wait, I'd rather sell it than right, not sell all it." All right, all right. We'll pay. No, when just we walk get away. Back, we'll just have to tell the guild that we'll sell to this gentleman at four times the normal price in the future. Wait, <laughs> surely there's no need yep. for that. Take our money and shut up and take Please, my money. Don't do this. It's not even your money. Why be so frugal with it? It might be the guild's money, but we'll have a tough time explaining to our boss why we spent so much in one go. You can pull for wanderers since you can fly. Oh, it's an item that you can pull for? Interesting. If he asks, all we can do is mention your name and say you gouged us over the price. Yeah. I... I understand. I'm sorry, please. I, I don't want any trouble with the guild. And don't let it happen again, or else. It'll be your kneecaps next time. There's just one other thing, though. There's been an issue with the delivery of this batch. Uh, several carts were ambushed by hilly churls. Why is it always hilly churls? Like, every quest I've done has in some way involved hilly churls. Like, whether it's a daily, whether it's a story quest, a world quest. I don't know where exactly, but if I can't retrieve the goods, then I can't sell them to you either. It's like everybody in this universe just doesn't like, like, they don't like hilly churls. Wander as a character? Oh. Interesting. I wish I could be like a mafia mob boss in uh, Genshin. I wish I could build my own empire, because then. Uh, so, I maybe could run you could go and look for the carts? There should be five of them in total. If you can find them all and tell me where they are, I'll sign the contract right away. Yeah, the oh, deal. Thank you very much. This is a lot to ask, I know. Uh -huh. What's that then? Well, no time to lose. Come on! Don't let me... Don't let me catch you on my earth again. <laughs> Another test subject. That's a lot of guys. Yes, don't blink! Hey! <laughs> all of them. Sorry, I'm not your test subject. Body and mind. Time to act. You monster frisbee. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Shield guys are shielded pillar trolls are getting tougher and tougher. Don't blink! Hey! Oh, too far. My depth perception not so good. I am not a fan of these arches either. Especially it's really just like a the shock ones that really are a huge issue for me. I'm going to forget. There's another one. Let Paimon see. Well, that's a two. Now we need two more. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, I, uh, there's more hill of trolls over there. So, does that mean that that's where it's going to be? Are there more carts around here? Oh, yep, there's another one right there. Right by them. Yeah, speed of light. There we go. Nowhere to hide. Oh, you got it. That's annoying. Don't blink. There we go. Another one. Alright, so now, wait, what is this? Viewpoint. Oh, it's a, it's one of those photos. Nice. Uh, okay. There should be more around here somewhere. Oh, there's another one. Here we go. Loads of Corlap is here. Uh huh. Quick, make a note of the location. Okay. Came back to a wanderer mention. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's another card over there. So I think that's the last one, yeah. yeah. That's what you get for steel. Is the character's name really just Wanderer? Like, they don't have another name? It's just Wanderer? That guy said there were five cards 
in total, so that should be all of them. Let's get back. Ooh, a lizard. <sighs> this has all been quite exhausting I like for how it's not Paimon. like, uh, he Breath of the Wild or Tears of Kingdom, Kingdom where, like, snacks. when you find, like, a critter on the ground, they don't, like, run away. They just stay there. <laughs> like, at that point, I feel like they get offended if I don't pick them up because they're just, like, sitting there waiting for me to pick them up. Time to act. Let's see, is there, uh... Is there like an oculus up here? It's all the way up there. Oh, his identity is a spoiler, okay. Why, is he like Spider-Man or something? Oh wait, can I not, can I not do this? Can I not jump up here? Nope. How, how do I, okay. Oh, damn. Is there another way? No, I, I gotta climb it, right? There, there can't. <laughs> That's gotta be it. Like, I gotta be able to climb it. Kind of, if Spider-Man was evil and had, had mommy issues. Oh, okay. So I, I, I think there are like variations of Spider-Man that are like that. But um, it's been a while since I've really read any of the comics. There we go. We did it. Way to use our brain, and those enemies respawn, so I don't want to deal with them again. Time to act. Okay. Here, we we've go. made a note of the cart's locations, all five of them. Can you sell us the core lapis now? Oh, wonderful. Thank you both. Yes, let's make this official. I also hope uh, you could put in a good word with your boss for me. Nope. You you were a dick. Done and dusted. Yeah. Nice work back we there. We make Paimon. a great team, don't we? Now for the final stop on our core lapis crawl. To change the ninth place. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about that. Thing. Is there a way that we can teleport all the way over to him? Yeah, he's very far away. Well, I'll go here. Teleport. What is that up there? There's like a orange or like brownish yellow glowy thingy. <gasps> what the hell is that? Oh, that's the quest marker. I was like, what is that? Oh, hi Annabelle. No problem. Uh, I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you uh, get plenty of rest tonight and I hope that uh, your uh, work day tomorrow uh, goes by now quickly. I can get back everything I lost. Just who I was hoping to see. I was just thinking to myself, Gentry mount sized thugs have been mysteriously absent for a while now. Yeah, I got rid of them. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I ate them. Oh, don't worry. You won't be hearing from them again. Oh? What? What happened? Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. Huh? Oh, oh, I see now. You're, you're in this trade, too. So you're trying to beat him to the post, eh? Appearances can be deceiving, that's for sure. But I don't care who you are. A discount of 70% is simply impossible. The, the maximum I can do is 40% off, and even then, I'm, I'm only breaking even. No need. We'll take it at the market rate. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just pay you You mean full price. you're not trying to force the price down? What, what, what's going on? Have I died and gone to heaven? Nope. I can't believe it. I will make a profit on this batch after all. But gentry mount-sized thugs could still come back after I've sold it. 
them move if somewhere Simon else. If Simon told you they're not gonna bother you again, then you'd better believe they're not gonna bother you again. Rest assured, you are safe selling to us. Huh. Okay, then. My situation can hardly get worse from here in any case. But tell me, what on earth do you plan to do with so much core lapis? That's for me to know and for you to find out. Actually, it's for a commission. Can't go into too much detail. We'll send someone to collect the goods later. Thank you. Thank you a million times over. I really don't know what to say. Don't thank us yet. Wait till we finish Good at least. people always get what's coming to them in the end. And so will the nasty people. Wow, it's quite a threat. Anyway, let's get going, because apparently we have a show to watch at the Feyun Commerce Guild's warehouse. Oh yeah, that's right. It was all for this big show that we're doing. That's our teleport waypoint. Yeah, that does sound very ominous. Paimon's out here making threats. If you're gonna make a threat like that, you better be able to deliver on it, Paimon. I haven't seen Paimon do any combat. It's all been us. She's making all these threats and these insults, but I've never seen her lift her finger at any of the enemies. Fighting for my life to stay awake right now. I'm right there with you, ankle player. Welcome. The final act in this drama would not be complete without you two here she as never audience. we have never seen Paimon actually do anything. You better believe it! We're the ones who've been doing all the work! What exactly have you been doing all this time? Uh, well, naturally, I used the time to immerse myself completely in Legend of the Shattered Halberd. I managed to finish the book off, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Glad you enjoyed it. Divine Halberd, an ominous sword. Mir and Wei Yang. The way the story develops across the first five volumes. Nothing short of exemplary. But the sixth volume? Oh, words fail me. How blessed we are to have such an author grace our world with such works. And this is related to Gentry Mount Sai, how? It's not. But when something surpasses expectations to such a degree, one must show one's appreciation. Is the ending of the book good? It was rather good. Thanks. <laughs> I only hope that as our plan reaches its denouement, it too will live up to its expectations. Why does Paimon have to be the only one who doesn't get what's going on? No fair! Isn't that kind of par for the course though, Paimon? Uh, so go on then, like, tell aren't me, you just used what to are it? we doing here? And what's this big dramatic showdown thing that's supposed to happen? Think about it. Gentry Maltzai goes searching for Core Lapis all over Liyue Harbor, and he doesn't find a single piece. He panics. He it all. Without the goods, he can't fulfill his contract. And if he can't fulfill his contract, he can't stay in good standing with the Fatui. He hears a rumor that the Feyun Commerce Guild is the culprit. Panic turns to disbelief. Jinshi Moutsai is a hugely powerful figure in the business world. Never has anyone dared to target him like this. I mean, we're not doing it to, like... Target him, we're doing it for so regardless Lapis, of whether it is revenge or a swift resolution that he seeks, he is certain to So it was you! Okay. You now were he the knows. one sticking your necks out for Chang the Knight. Yeah, why not? Speak of the devil. I went everywhere trying to find someone selling core lapis before I realized that one of these guys is not like the skills others. had been on an acquisition spree. Core lapis is hardly a rare mineral. And yet, suddenly, the stocks dry up, just like that. Explain yourselves. What is the meaning of this persecution? It's because we don't like you. We are not persecuting you, but protecting another, one to whom I am indebted. Upon witnessing an injustice, it is a perfectly normal response to rush to the aid of he who has been wronged. Was it not one of your own men who said, this isn't over? Ooh, throwing his words right. <clears throat> you clearly don't know what's good for you. I won't beat around the bush. 
Master, if you please, seize their Corlapis! Kill my sword! <laughs> Impressive. You are no commoners. <sighs> to continue this fight would be to incur greater losses than I can accept. Their strength is almost spent. Finish them off! The Core Lapis is almost within our grasp. Might I remind you that the Fatui's relationship with you extends to business matters only? I did not lend you my men to have them stir up trouble at your beck and call. W w what are you saying? Master, everything I did, I did with only one thing in mind. To complete the order! Then figure it out by yourself. D don't go. Wait! Master, wait! My lord, what are you doing here? Are you hurt? Thanks to this valiant young man, I am unscathed. My lord? You? You are the heir of the Feiyun Commerce Guild? That really bums me out because OBS just suddenly stopped detecting my microphone and I think it's because I'm using desktop audio. Uh, I just don't think I can win with OBS. <laughs> I don't know if I need to switch back to Streamlabs or what, but this has been such a pain. It's Indeed, like neither Manish. of the streaming software is like perfect. Disciple of the they're, all, clan they're both and very buggy and there's the nothing Feyun I can Commerce really do about manager, it, unfortunately. And I make no secret of it. I looked online and these are all very common issues in OBS or Streamlabs. Like neither of them have fixed their issues with their software. So I'm not sure like how Rats. others are able to not like have any fiddle. issues with OBS. Uh, because I'm not sure why it's happening to me uh, so frequently. Because for others, it's been random, but for me, it's been like every single stream. Gentry Mautzai. Coercion and intimidation are hardly the attributes of a respectable businessman. The problems that your business practices have created, I have sought to resolve through mine. I shudder to think what the Fatui like, will do if, if you if you fail to, to provide their core lapis. But even then, I've heard very not good things about OBS support. That They, they very rarely are able to fix issues that are reported to them. You meddling swine. Well, go on. Tell me. Yeah, what hopefully the audio is for? fine now. Um, but Since I, you I asked Chang the Nine way. for a discount of 
Let's fight fire with fire, shall we? Ooh. Thank you for the milk throw. Three times the market rate sounds fair, no? Three times the market rate? That's a lot of money. How dare you subject me to such viciousness? This is a malicious and calculated attempt to run me into the ground. Deep breaths now. This is a simple decision. Will you buy or not? Yeah, do you want to get bankrupt over a simple resource or do you not? I... I, I <clears throat> fine. Have it your way. I'll find the money somehow. Happy now? On behalf of the Feyun Commerce Guild, I thank you for your business, and hope you will continue to do business with us in future. Congratulations! Congratulations! Congratulations. Funny speaking, book reading, guhua geeking, sing cho are the heir of the Feyun Commerce Guild? So that massive stash of Mora you let us burn through in a day? That was from your private vault? Twas yes, but it a was. paltry sum. I got to make a very sound investment while putting Gentry Maltzai in his place. He's rich, A rich. classic two birds, one stone situation. He's rich enough to, like, throw money around for the sake of pettiness. That's how rich he is. Don't you rich kids take calligraphy classes from a young age? <laughs> very droll. My family can always tell me from my handwriting. It's certainly one of my distinguishing features. <laughs> Yikes! Paimon's been calling you Guhua Geek this whole time! I mean, it doesn't change the fact that he is. Paimon read in one of these martial artist novels that oh, when looks rich like we have an ad break like you get up. angry at someone, you have their arms and legs chopped off! <laughs> Paimon's toast! And sorry, very sorry! Please don't hurt Paimon! Yeah, we've been working with the bourgeoisie the whole time. Calm down. Since you can fly, you hardly need your legs anyway. Ah! Save me! Save me! This is not a drill! Repeat! This is not a drill! He's like so obviously joking. Jokes aside, I have the two of you to thank for this successful resolution. Really, you were a huge help. You're welcome. Meanwhile, Legend of the Shattered Halberd was positively riveting. Much obliged if you could return it to Chang the Ninth for me. Yeah, you're making us do another. I did errand. nothing, and hence deserve none of his gratitude. The two of you, meanwhile, though strangers to the circumstances, stepped in and saved the day. Yeah, so haven't we done enough? To have made such valiant and chivalrous friends is more than enough for me, my liege. Hmm. My lord, uh, forgive the me. intrusion. It's about your father. Please inform my father thusly. I have averted a disaster, and earned a sizable sum of money in the process. Might this meritorious act compensate for my prior transgressions, and earn me a few more days of freedom, perchance? Legend of the Shattered Halberd speaks of a domain that I should very much like to investigate. Oh, so he wants to go to a domain. For all your clever long words, the fact is you're just the lazy bones who doesn't want to work! <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the impression that I got. What if I, I told got, you that a reward awaits you at Cheng the Ninth's palace, and not just his gratitude? A reward? Hmm. Well, that sweetens the deal somewhat. That's uh, if there is actually. It seems reward. whatever I say, there's no persuading you to stay. Yeah, why didn't you tell us that Xing Chou was the Fei Yun heir? Oh, I didn't realize you weren't aware. Well, we were aware because somebody called him Young Master at one point. Yeah, Paimon is the definition of can dish it out but can't take it. Thank exactly. you in advance for returning the book for me. I will take Where I my come leave from, that's now. called being a punk bitch. May we meet again, fellow merchants. See ya. All right, justice is its own rewards. That's why she's emergency food. Yeah. That's all she's good for. Wait, is that where Ching the Ninth is? No, there's there's two different markers. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Wait, no, I don't like going that way because then I have to climb all these cliffs and fight all these enemies. Let's try the other side here. Teleport waypoint. Okay, more climbing, but this is a bit more manageable since we have a ladder up here. Come 
much easier to climb. <clears throat> that scaffolding. Time to act. Man, you gotta climb up this way and then like down every time you want to go into town. Finally, you're back. This morning, the pawnbroker showed up and gave me back my entire collection. I'm positive that you must have been behind this once again. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. No big deal. Please Happy don't say help. that. You have no idea how much this means to me. Uh -huh. The Chang family was a prestigious household in Liyue back in the day. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, after I took over the family's affairs as heir, a series of business setbacks devoured our fortune. Setbacks, you say? Since then, I've saved for years, hoping to restore the house to its former glory. In the end, everything was riding on this Corlapis deal. Were it not for you, this barren wasteland in the mountains would have become my final resting place. Wow, that's the second heir we've met in this town. I'm sorry, what? Why are there so many rich people in this town? Uh, nothing. Or so many oh, heirs. Oh, here's your book back. Wonderful. Legend of the Shattered Halbert. I was beginning to think that Guhua rascal had swindled me. Do people yeah. really look down on the Guhua clan so oh, much? Oh, it's known as the City of Commerce? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Actually, the art is centuries old and was once held in high esteem. I mean, if, like, everybody in town but is an heir, then that kind of means that nobody's special, right? <laughs> to instigate kind of a revival, same. you need to inject some fresh blood, but it's hard to attract budding young talent to a dying art. And so it becomes a vicious cycle. In any uh -huh. case, Guhua kids these days. Take that young rascal Xingqiao, for instance. For all his talk about repaying kindness with kindness and whatnot, what has he done to show for it? You're the ones who've displayed a genuine sense of responsibility. Yeah, he's better than you give him credit for. Ah, uh, what does it matter? Anyway, it you wanted the Liyue volume me. of the Tevat Travel Guide, didn't you? I'll fetch it for you. Yeah, that's it's yours we went to keep. All that for this In addition, guide. here is but a small token of appreciation for your huge generosity. To be honest, I did forget my about that. My ore is sold, and my treasured books have returned. I can't believe it. You're welcome. Wait, what? Huh? What? What was that? Paimon saw something fall out. Strange oh. bookmark. N nothing, nothing. We'll give it here. That little rascal surely isn't. What do you mean? Okay, well, we finished another quest. So that's good. So then I'm gonna... What do I need to ascend you? I need to fight the... Uh, Osh Oceanids. Level thir drop by level 30 plus Oceanids. We need Silk Flower. We do want to get into level 60. But for now, we'll... Uh, you're, you're already level 60. So we'll level you up. with talents. Let's see. Can I raise your talents at all? I can. Teachings of diligence. What should I level up? Do I want to level up her normal attack? Guide to diligence. Another guide to diligence. And slime secretion. That I can generate more of because I think I can uh, craft. Uh, yeah, confirm. I'll go ahead and do it since I can. I can level up. Uh, so this also requires guide to diligence. Slime secretions. So I'll head to Monsta. I'll do some crafting. What's that? Focus on our burst, but getting the first two to like level three ish can earn. Oh, okay, gotcha. And I will do that. Teleport. 
Up, up, and away. Which ones you level kind of depends on the character. Uh, yeah, I've just been trying to level up everybody since I alternate with them pretty frequently when I'm in combat. And I did want to, like, uh, make sure I got, like, the best DPS out of all of them. Wait, no, I don't want to go here. What am I doing? I want to go to the crafting table. I want to go to arts and crafts. Earth, water, wind, and fire. These nations live in harmony. Uh, oh, I can actually, uh, I can actually uh, craft these. But I don't know which characters need these for their talents. But we came here for the slime secretion, so we'll do like nine of these. You know, now that I turned off the noise suppression on my microphone, I wonder if everybody can hear whenever I fart. That'll be an interesting experiment. I have to like, just like pick a day where I just like go to Korean barbecue and eat like a whole bunch of meat and then just not tell anybody and just see if anybody notices. Cause then I'll be kind of like a, like a test of character here. Like, oh is it going to be a case oh where like, wow. you generally can't hear it huh? or it's like, All it's just so people. embarrassing that, um, out of courtesy, nobody like wants to draw attention to it and just tries to ignore it. But then like, I'm just blasting ass like so much so frequently to the point where like someone has to say something and be like, Hey, like, just so you know, we can hear you, uh, ass blasting on your stream like non-stop can you please kindly stop and then i'll just be like no this is who i am this this is this is who i am just this is me being real and if you can't handle it then uh get out get out of the kitchen if you can't handle the uh handle the fire uh what's my favorite character in my high latte <laughs> what an interesting time for you to join in <laughs> uh what's my favorite korean barbecue meat in panchan um so my favorite because it, it depends every korean barbecue i've been to has like different stuff um i really like the brisket in terms of just like baseline what every place has but in terms of like specific i really like the uh like the manu uh so like the uh the garlic marinated uh pork belly uh they also have like a good like garlic uh uh like what is it like kochujang um, marinated sangyeopsal, which is red hot red pepper paste mixed with garlic. Um, I also really like uh, like the uh, marinated um, like takasumsal. So it, it's like the marinated like chicken breast, like in like a soy sauce, uh, like hot red pepper paste sauce, which is really good. Panchan wise. Um, I really miss when they would have like the rice cake papers. Uh, it sucks that they don't really have them anymore in like a lot of Korean barbecue places. And I thought that was just like where I was like lived, but apparently that's like nationwide. Like a lot of places nationwide don't do that anymore. And I wonder if it's because there's some kind of shortage. Uh, but in terms of what they give you for free, uh, I really like the acorn jelly. Uh, you can't go wrong with kimchi. Uh, that's always good when you're like making Korean barbecue wraps. Uh, it feels like extra, like what you have to pay extra for. I'd have to say it's like the kedanchim, which is like just like the uh, steamed egg. Corn cheese is also very good, but uh, the corn cheese, like the places that I go to tend to be too sweet with the corn cheese because they put sugar in it and I don't like having sugar in my Korean food. Like... Uh, there's a really popular Korean restaurant near me where they have mashed potatoes, but they put sugar in their mashed potatoes and it's just so weird. It just throws off the whole thing. At most, I'd be like, I think someone in the background just farted to shift the blame. And I'd just be like, yeah, that's me. Um, I'm sorry, but that, that's, there, there's nobody in the background. It's just me. It's me, myself, and my farts. Sugar mashed potatoes, interesting. It's, it's awful. It's so nasty. 
I I can get sweet I can get behind mashed sweet potatoes because like it's like a little bit of natural sweetness, but sugared mashed potatoes is just too sweet. Yeah, because like I had Taco Bell for dinner, and then when we were in the farmer's market, I was crop dusting the entire place, and I had no remorse whatsoever. Or how sweet Korean pizza crust is. I haven't, like, there aren't a lot of, like, Korean plates, pizza places near me. But the ones that I've had, luckily, weren't too sweet on the pizza crust. Like, they, they kept it uh, just buttered, which I like. I know potato candy is a thing, but very different than mashed potatoes. Yeah, like, candy is, like, a chewy, hard texture. With mashed potatoes, if I want, if it's something like that, where it's, like, kind of like a paste type thing... I, I don't want sugar in it. It's just so weird. Unless I specifically want mashed sweet potatoes. Because then it's like a slight sweetness. But if it's just overwhelming. Because mashed potatoes also kind of has like a saltiness to it. So when you add like sugar to it. And especially when you have that on top of tonkatsu. Which is just pork cutlet. It's just such an odd combination. I don't want that much sweetness. Like when I'm eating like a pork cutlet. With like a Worcestershire like barbecue sauce. Or like the pork cutlet sauce. The tonkatsu sauce. Because it, it, what it is, it's like a mixture of ketchup, uh, Worcestershire sauce, barbecue sauce, and like some other things. And that's what gives it like that tanginess. What did I, what did I come here to do? I, I came here to upload, or not upload, like, uh, uh, upgrade my talents. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, and then Pyro Nato, uh, we will level up. For those of if you confused as to why I'm talking about farming so much, is due to receive a batch uh, of new releases if you aren't a part of the Discord, you'll know, because I, that's all I talk adventure? about in Discord. I just talk about, like, how much my protein intake and my workouts have just made me so gassy. And, and that's just like my constant state of being. Like, I'm always gassy. My wife constantly says that I'm the gassiest person she's ever met. And uh, honestly, I've never been more proud uh, to hear that. It'd be like, it truly do be like that. Listen, if, if you knew how much protein I consume in a day with um, how much meat uh like how much protein i get from cheese how much whey protein i eat you would understand like uh you would honestly be surprised that i'm not more gassy with how much protein i eat <laughs> those who are uh weightlifters you 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 understand uh, the struggle because there there isn't a protein supplement out there that won't make you more gassy it's just Something that goes hand in hand. And trust me, I, I would like it too if it weren't that way. But that that's just the way it that's just the way it be. I also do a lot of weight training, so I eat a lot of protein. I try to have fermented foods too, I think it helps. I mean I eat a lot of kimchi. <laughs> that helps. Or it's it's supposedly supposed to help, but I mean maybe it just makes it worse, who knows? My brother went on keto for a while and I have considered banishing him to the backyard because of the gas. Yeah, not having sugar and carbs will do that to you. I try to like stay relatively low carb as well, so that may also be what's like contributing to the gas. Cause like the bread that I have like for my sandwiches, like I, I get the keto bread and it is a bit more expensive, but I mean, it's, it's worth it for me. Though certain brands of keto bread just straight up taste like paper and I hate it. So I mean, whoever was in the Discord, uh, Ben's old Discord, talk about how they like eating paper. Um, if you're here, maybe you'll like that bread. Oh, one of the medications I have to take causes really bad idea, so I do. Oh. I'm so sorry, Latte. Like, um, I I don't think I I don't know if I have IBS because like I mean as a kid I had like really bad like 
uh, like stomach cramps. But I think that was more so from how much I ate rather than actually having IBS. Uh, my one of my best friends growing up, he had severe, or he still does have severe IBS, um, and I felt so bad for him. And then when I met Ben, like that's when I learned what Crohn's disease was. Cause I never heard of Crohn's disease before, and I learned that it's very similar. It's like a form of IBS. Um, and I just felt so bad because uh, whenever I hung out with Ben, we would always have to like make sure that he knew where the closest bathroom was and that he had readily available access to it. Uh, Cause for him, like his whole day, like his whole schedule could just be thrown off from his Crohn's flare-ups. Uh, because whenever that happened, we would have to like allocate at least 30 minutes to an hour because that's just how bad his Crohn's flare-ups were. And I felt so bad for him. Um, I heard that he's that his flare-ups are better now, so I'm glad. But yeah, like back in like when you're in college, you don't really have a sense of regulating your diet diet better, so it can lead to like bad like you know bowel movements like that. And I just felt so bad for him. Oh hi Kaya, thank you for joining in. Yeah, uh, I don't remember who it was because I remember like I hopped into the voice channel once. And all I kept saying was ook every periodically. Uh, and then someone talked about like eating paper. And I was like, what? Eating paper? Oh, wait, I completely forgot how to get up to uh, the Jade Palace again. I think I have to go from town. Yeah, because how, how do I get back up there? Out of topic, but I need to get weightlifting tips from you, August. Um, yeah, if, if you ever want weightlifting, weightlifting tips, I got you. Um, I. So like I grew up um, like pretty overweight. I was obese because like I had very poor eating habits and uh, I had, you know, like an eating disorder where I would just constantly binge eat because uh, that's how I cope with the trauma from that my parents put me through. And also my parents like never taught me how to like properly regulate your eating or like how uh, to get a handle on that from an early age. So I just grew up having like this binge eating disorder uh, not knowing that like, oh, you're not supposed to, uh, as a child, eat that much and eat that uh, much of very unhealthy foods. So I felt terrible all the time uh, and I didn't understand why. And it's because my parents never taught me like proper diet or like, you know, like portion control, like when you're growing up. Uh, so I re got really into weightlifting as an adult and lost weight. I got really into like cardio for a while as well. So any tips you want, I got you. Like, I'm happy to help you out with that. And yeah, uh, and I did that for the past, how, how many years has it been? Uh, eight years? No, uh, nine years. Going on nine years that I've, that I've been weightlifting. So yeah, if, if you want any uh, help with how to get started, I, I can send you resources and all that as well. When I first got put on that medication, made me so sick. I'm so sorry, Latte. I, yeah, like, I can't imagine how... Not only how painful that is, but how frustrating that is as well. Uh, I hope that, like, at some point, like, the medication, like, levels out with, like, your body. Like, to the point where it's not as bad anymore. If that hasn't already happened. But yeah, I, I can't imagine, like, how frustrating it is where, like, you have, like, a whole day planned. And then you have to just completely, like change your schedule up because of this one thing. How do I get back up there? I wish there was I wish there was a fast travel point to get back up there. I gotta like go like all down this way and then I gotta go up the steps and it's gonna become a whole thing. Body and mind. Because there's only one way to get up there. Like they, they, I wish there were staircases on both ends, but it's just no. on one end. Oh, Mythic, thank you so much for the raid. Really appreciate it. Let me go ahead and give you a shout out. Uh, so yeah, for um, anybody who uh, is not familiar with Mythic, uh, highly recommend checking out their streams. Um, they tend to stream like uh, during the day, uh, Eastern Standard Time, at least during like the morning to afternoon. Um, and I often catch the streams while I'm working and it's really awesome like because they do like art But also like they'll listen to like uh, like either like punk or metal and it's it's really cool time it's, to act uh, Really gets me Body through my day <laughs> and It's very much needed because you know, I, like I said, I hate my job and uh, yeah 
So, yeah, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for joining in. Always happy to have you here. I use the fast travel point on the mountain to slide out. Why didn't I think of that? That's actually a really good idea. I never think to do these things that you would think are just so obvious and intuitive. And it just goes over my head. But yeah, hello raiders. If you're not um, familiar with who I am, I am a tuxedo cat named August. And uh, I like to play video games while also providing a uh, safe space for support and uh, clouds may darken and light turn uh, support and uh, empathy, I guess for lack of a better word, for those who are suffering through trauma, whether it be like generational trauma or like domestic violence trauma. Uh, it's something that I experienced growing up, and it is something that is something that I hold dear to my heart with wanting to um, pr essentially uh, build up on that uh, community for those who have experienced it and are struggling to cope with it. Oh, no problem, Mythic. Yeah, uh, please, please get plenty of rest. Um, yeah, because opening shift does not sound fun at all. Thank you, I really do appreciate it, Mythic. I have to talk to the NPC? Oh. Oh. I, ha I have to talk to the, uh, to the common folk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. May I help you? Yes, beam me up, Scotty. No problem, yeah. Hope you get plenty of sleep and... Hope you have a relatively easy. I believe that, that you've tomorrow. heard of the Archon War. No, <laughs> I completely forgot about many that. Many gods used to walk this earth, and many long wars were fought between them that did not abate until two thousand years ago. Oh, for anyone new ago. as well, uh, we will be starting a Much charity stream shed, uh, on and Monday, many lives were lost. where I'll be streaming every night all week long uh, to raise money for Care for Gaza. And I don't really have a set plan for it, but I know that we'll be doing like a lethal company night where uh, the viewers can like donate in to like end, fuck with us throughout the game. Only seven victors remained standing um, in Tibet. They like, built you, cities you can and change nations the time on of the day. You can change how many monsters come up. You and can freeze us in place if we're run, while we're seven. running away from a monster. And also, we'll also be doing a D&D stream. Um, and there are a few people who will be joining in on that. Um, I believe Annabelle will be joining in, Salex will be joining in, uh, Kyle will be joining in, and uh, either Taylor or Jeremy. I have yet to ask Jeremy, but Taylor said that he should be available. Because I know Taylor's also doing a charity D&D stream on Wednesday for uh, Charity for Gaza, so or, or, or for Palestine in general. So I, I don't want him to, to be overwhelmed and overloaded, but I, I'm going to see how he feels. Because he also just had like a dental procedure, I think, recently. You can see uh, so Gordon yeah. Stone Forest from here, I trust. So that should be fun. And it we'll have like no donation incentives for like DD. I gotta still like look into it more. Those are giant um, spears of Right rock now we're focused on uh, getting everybody's characters created, and we're gonna be doing that throughout, uh, I believe, the weekend and next week before uh, the DD stream next Saturday. Remember when you asked how they determined which gods were chosen? Chosen for what? Beneath the spears lie those cast down by Rex Lapis in those days. Gods that failed to seize the title oh, of Oh, the winners Archon. of the Akarn War are how they put... Sorry for what? Our daddy told us not to be ashamed of our gods. Um, the winners of the Archon War is how they picked. Hmm. Interesting. So it's like not a only war is between it true the gods, gods may and then die, whoever won... But so um, too has the membership the of the God. Seven changed over the last two millennia. Oh, okay. Rex Lapis's passing is so, an so unimaginable there will be another disaster God for Leela, to replace Rex Lapis. But the Order of the Seven will not collapse simply because of that. Oh, okay. Another Lord of Geo will arise sooner or later. Also, for Yet, anybody who understood that sorry Rex for Lapis, what reference, you're all degenerates. When that time comes, the relationship between the people of Lyra and the gods and Adepti will surely be different from before. It was essentially a large-scale battle royale. Will we actually get to see that, or is that just like only in reference? Like Even in a new in. era, the Liyue Chising remain Rex Lapis's former subjects. Do you really think us capable of having played a part in his demise, of lacking the foresight to see the certain repercussions? I mean, I never suspected you of killing him. <laughs> it was in the past. Okay, so it's not going to happen again. 
I see. Interesting. That day at Yujing Terrace, it was also very It would be sudden. interesting if Hoyo eventually Even comes I out with a game completely off of guard. that, where it's like a game of the Archon You Wars. were there. You no doubt saw. Oh, there's cool fan-made animations? That's really cool. I gotta check that out sometime. If anybody wants to uh, link me some in the Discord, I'd be happy to check those out. Uh, oh, excuse me. But our enemy has long lain hidden within the harbor. Thank you, if Tom. we do really not act against it. them now, they will surely gain the upper hand. Not before you finish the Archon quest. Oh, is it, is it spoiler heavy? Hiding gotcha. the Exuvia was a necessary maneuver to take the initiative back. To play the spider while our foes scurry about. Huh. Who's this enemy you're talking about? What do you think, Traveler? I don't know who him is. These two choices are identical. They're basically the same. They're asking the same question. Huh? What are you two talking about? I don't even know what we're talking about. My fear of heights would not let me stand on the edge like she is. Same. I, I would not be. I would be so close to the center and then I'd be like, please take me down. Please let me down on the ground. I don't want to be up Well anymore. answered. Uh, uh huh? <sighs> The scenery out here is fine indeed, but the wind is a little strong. Our preparations to receive guests within are complete. So please, this way. Oh, we get to see the inside of the Jade Palace. Also, thank you for the head pat, Punk Body, uh, Kaya. I didn't, I didn't realize earlier that you, that you redeemed the head pat. I almost started climbing the doors there. Or I did start climbing the doors there. Wowee! What a huge hall! Paimon's never seen such a fancy place before. It's okay, I guess. I mean, it's definitely better than Diluc's house, which layout the layout of that makes no sense. That there's a staircase leading up, but there's only one room with two doors on one side of the building. Which makes up what are you doing? Why are you just rubbing the door? You suck at sweeping. That broom is barely touching the floor. <laughs> it's okay, I guess. I mean, I've seen better. Me trying to look busy at work, same. Oops. Yeah, I guess that door really needs inspecting. Gotta count those doorknobs, you know? Wait, where am I even supposed to go? Oh, okay, here you are. Let me just, uh, steal the... ...book on your desk. Calligraphy works. <laughs> Already criticizing the staff. Be at ease, it's what you I do. Two. Make yourselves at home if you wish. I have invited you two here as friends. And when friends come over to play, our enjoyment comes first. Naturally. That's an interesting choice of words. So if we came over to play, do you have juice boxes then? Casually oh, committing theft, it's what I do. Isn't this that legendary wall? What legendary wall? Why, you've kept your ear to the ground, I see. That looks pretty basic for a legendary wall. Like, it's kind of underwhelming. Oh, there's another book in the shelf that I could grab. That's because even the storytellers are talking Yoink. about it. Everyone's after a piece of paper from that wall. It's super famous. But why? That's because that wall records Leo's secrets. Oh, the papers that she Merchants have always scatters. been attracted oh. to secrets. There are lower spoilers. Okay, I'll make sure to uh, not watch them until after we finish the Archon quest. But the secrets of the mercantile world are of no interest to you, are they, Traveler? You're I want rather to build my special, own empire. Really, and I think you're quite aware of that. If possible, I'd like to have your trust. Oh, hi, Ozzy. Thank you for joining in. What I would like to do is I want to go Uncle Iroh's route. I want to open up a tea shop in Liyue, make it so successful, Maybe sprinkle just a little bit of cocaine in it to like, you know, like really hook in the customers and then like open up like, uh, you know, like open up uh, franchises all around the world. But if you were to Don't choose actually put the more trustworthy people. person do between <laughs> myself and Kuching. Oh, I'm farther than you on the Liyue quest? Really? Huh. 
one of them has Inazuma lore spoilers and the other has Sumeru lore spoilers. Oh, okay, so I'm pretty far off in them. That is true, they, they did originally put it in uh, Coca-Cola. I mean, that's fair. I mean, because like, if you've just been leveling up your characters and like not really doing like these quests, I mean, that's really fair. That's what I've been doing. Between your orthodoxy and your heterodoxy. <laughs> You'd pick Kuching? Nah, I had a feeling. I already picked Kuching. She's, she's in my party. I originally thought her a bit too hard-headed. With someone of her character on the Chising, I've had some extra messes to clean up behind the scenes. Wow, you're so mean to her. You're like, oh, you're like, oh, well, yeah, she's here, but she kind of sucks. But after oh, she thank said you for the those hydrate, words, latte. the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Chising don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Well, know. I must say that quite a few of my doubts have been dispelled. Yeah, Latte, you don't work weekends, do you? Because, like, I know, like, some, like, Korean schools require you to work, like, uh, like, weekends. Like, I know the private schools do, at least, so I, I don't know if you have to also work weekends or not. I won't deny that Rex Lapis's passing seems advantageous to us. But, for Liyue's sake, we cannot allow ourselves to be shackled by rumors of our usurpation of power. Because I, I never went to Korea to teach English, uh, but I have friends who have. Indeed. And, it seems uh, that you understood what I meant to say from the very beginning. It's interesting because some of them are fluent in Korean, and because they have that background and understanding Korean, but also because they're not allowed to speak Korean, they got placed in the private schools. Um, because I know, like, I if you have, for the like, gag a, order and for the I think a to degree, be like, specified the teaching, situation, uh, and they also to prevent place something you in the similar schools. to the incident in Mondstadt. Oh, well, that's awesome. Yeah, if you don't have to work weekends, that's really cool. Because, like, uh, like, from what I, my understanding of, like, with when Rex you go Lapis's abroad to death, teach English in Korea, have busy they pay for your flight, they pay for your transportation, they give you a stipend on top remit. of your salary. And As also the they Tianchuan, pay for, like, room one and board, for Liyue, but you only have to pay, like, utilities, I think, with which is a pretty sweet deal. Them. Especially, like, if you get weekends to do whatever you want and explore the city. Because uh, I know some schools, like, overwork you, well, that, where you'll be working, like, every day from like 7 a.m. to like 7 p.m. and then doing that like seven days a week. Allowing the rite of parting to take place so I'm glad was that also didn't meant to buy some time for us to take control to, like, that of Liyue's that on administration. You. There's two voices? <sighs> it's exactly as Zhongli said. The Qixing only provided so I haven't really the been paying attention to anything she's been so saying. they could use us for their own ends. Wait, that's right. Speaking of ends, could I say one other oh, I'm thing? sorry if it's like overwhelming hearing the two voices at the same time. Of course. Violence heard that anyone who sends a greeting gift gets a little something in return. So, does that include us? Wow, Paimon, you're so tactful. <laughs> it's all right. I like direct people. Kishin just hid the dead god's body, I think. I mean, could we could we eat it? Because like. I wonder what dragon tastes like. Would, it, would a dragon taste good? Well, we have made quite a bit of trouble for you recently. How about this? Huh? You can pick any one object here as you please. And you may take it with you. If it's protein, I want to try it. Like, I was just talking to Kaya, like, earlier. Like, I would love to try kangaroo meat. <laughs> because I saw a Try Guys video where they were, like, in Australia trying out, like, this, like, steakhouse. And they had, like, kangaroo skewers. And they said it was like gamey steak, and that sounds like right up my uh, right up my alley. It probably does taste like taste like crocodile. Probably like either crocodile or snake meat. Yay! Paima I was just waiting for you to say that. Let's see, what should we get? It's hard work for sure, which I love, but I got some really amazing feedback this week. Like one of the directors and one of the veteran teachers both told me separately they had no idea I have never formed a cup before. That's awesome, Ate. Yeah, like, um, that that's like really good then. That means that like, if anything, they'd want to keep you around. Like, and maybe even like bring you back and extend your term if, if you're able to. <gasps> one of the sheets on that wall. I do like venison. Um, if you've never had reindeer sausages, I highly recommend it. Um, I have 
a friend whose parents um, often go hunting for like deer and reindeer and they've made like buffalo reindeer sausage before and it's so good. Don't look at Paimon like that. I'm actually getting hungry thinking about that. Paper will sell for because crazy uh, prices. they also have Even a fire pit in their backyard so we like Paimon's cook the now. reindeer sausages over like an open fire um, and then cooked it in uh, hot sauce to even add more like kick to it and it was so good. I want to be great at this for the kids but also for my career yeah. For sure, Just like imagine. if you love being in Korea you more then, and you love teaching, then yeah, so like, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to, you know, keep doing it. Like you'd have to come back to America like every like, you know, six months I think to like uh, essentially like not get in trouble with the law and then you can go back and then, especially if they like having you and you have that reputation among like the education system because also in Korea all the schools talk so they, they'll know like if you're doing a good job or if you're not doing a good job because like that's a way to get blacklisted or like you know be recommended again so yeah I want some yeah they're they're expensive unfortunately like if you want to actually like, get some not directly from like the source uh, and get it from like a like a butcher's market. It's very expensive because also reindeer is not like a common meat that they sell like in butcher shop. You have to like go to like specific like areas. Once I get my ARC, I won't have to go back to the states. Oh, that's awesome! Uh, do you just plan on like uh, like moving to Korea and living there like on a work visa full time then? Like just like as well, I guess as long as you can. That'd be really cool. Oh, I have another reputation. Already. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. Was, was there a? Is there a tell? A waypoint? A teleportation waypoint inside the palace? If so, then I, I kind of fucked my chances of uh, teleporting back. Because uh, now I have to go back to the palace, uh, on like in Liyue, and then uh, do that shit all over again with the secret like white light lotus society code word <laughs> time to act there's one to the jade chamber eventually oh so it's not like right off the bat body and mind oh what is this spin crystal i say that every time i see that i ask what is this wait where, where time to act it's it's <laughs> uh Get my bearings. Okay, it's down here. Okay, so I don't get it uh, uh, right off the bat. How's my reputation? Oh yeah, and if uh, anybody new here, um, if you like the stream and you want to see me stream again, please feel free to give me a follow. And uh, I also have a Discord server where the link should be working now. Um, if you want to see where to find it, it's in my... Uh, profile or my channel under the about section or you can type exclamation point socials in the chat and it'll bring up all the all my socials oh yeah or exclamation point discord as well yeah thank you very much latte that was kind of my plan yeah i haven't gotten any furniture from my apartment yet but i can see myself staying here happily it's been so refreshing to be back and living here again it's like I pressed pause and came back and nothing really changed. That's kind of how I feel about like Japan, but like I know I wouldn't want to live in Japan. I just want to keep going back there as a tourist. Um, and I'm hoping that I can go there every year. Like if I'm fortunate enough to like continue making enough money to afford to go. Uh, because it's like a completely different experience. And I think honestly like seeing the state of America um, and having like been to Japan and seeing how things operate there from a tourist perspective has just made me a bit like more and more pessimistic about like the country that I was raised in uh, in America and I just hate the US more and more uh, the more I see like this how things are run wait I have more reputation rewards I thought I just claimed it time to act it's almost cherry blossom season two so I'll have to send some photos oh yes please I haven't been in Korea in, during the cherry blossom season since I was like six years old so that should tell you like how long it's been since I've been to Korea during the spring because I used to mostly go during the summer uh, 
so I do miss that. Wait, where the hell? Body and mind. It's so disorienting navigating through the city. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to knock you over there. How's that reputation? Okay, well, okay, so I do have more to play. What the hell is all this reputation experience? What does that go towards? I don't know what that means. Oh, wait, I can just claim all. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, what is this? Instructions, Animoculus Resonance Stone. I don't know what that is. Is that a crafting thing? I had to get out of the U.S. for a lot of reasons, mainly because this is my dream, but I didn't want to keep it on the back burner way any longer, but also because being in the U.S. is not good for mental health. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at now. Because, um, like, I'm in the U.S., um, and I work for a corporation, and it's just, it's very, it's very soul-crushing um, the longer you're in that industry, because, like, I don't want to like generalize, but boomers have like the benefit of um, grinding away at their job uh, tirelessly, but they got paid a significant amount for it for like their like context of what they have, how much things cost in their generation, and they don't realize that for us, we're expected to put in the same amount of work they did for much less for much less benefits, for much less pay, and things just keep getting more and more expensive. And they, they've already done it. They've already, you know, sown their oats. They've already gotten to the point where they have a lot of passive income now in their age, for the most part. I know that there are a lot of boomers who do struggle, but for the most part, they've had that benefit where they had the, uh, they had the luxury, they had the convenience of being able to invest early in things and with lower risk than you have now, without having to worry about um, where the next meal is, like how they're gonna continue paying for the roof over their heads and being able for their purchases to be investments. But now for us, everything is borrowed. We're paying for things on borrowed time. We're paying for things we're borrowing because renting isn't owning. We're not paying to own the apartment we live in. We're just borrowing. We're paying to borrow the space there and then they just keep raising the rent. Uh, they keep raising the pricing of food. Uh, stocks are a lot riskier than they are now because there's a lot more competition than there was back then. Uh, like it's, it's wild. Like I think even in the US alone, I think there's over 50,000 companies that made over a billion dollars in the US alone. Uh, and if that's not telling you something that, you know, that it, it's harder for us now even more and more to just stay afloat and you know it's like it, it's, it's a thing it's like boomers for the most part don't understand because they didn't have to live through that uh they're like oh you're young you're just getting out of the workforce you should you know have the world is your oyster you should be excited you should be going in with a bunch of optimism and you know taking it all in and being excited but the reality is it's hard to do that when we're so focused on just trying to survive and the the thing is it's it's them who made the world this way because they are benefiting from the social security all the money that goes in from our paychecks and our taxes and they set it all up to set themselves up for success not realizing that it doesn't trickle down the way that they thought it would, that it, it doesn't benefit us in any way. Essentially, we're, we're working to line their pockets. It's going to them. It's not going back to us. And they, they're in a position where they have the privilege to benefit from that while you know, having the convenience to ignore the fact that it's our money going to them. Uh, and then saying like, oh, it's because you haven't pulled yourself up by your bootstraps and you know made something for yourself well it's because you set up the world for us to not make that really possible anymore so how can you blame us for it when really the burden of it falls on your shoulders because also it's your generation who's in 
these positions of power as politicians in the government who refuse to retire when you're 80 years old and let the younger generation shape the world the way that we want to. And you're just, you know, deciding on policies that you don't understand. Because the world isn't what it was back then. It's, it's changed drastically and you refuse to believe that or acknowledge that. See, I, I don't mean to like, you know, like, go into like a whole rant and like bring down the mood about that but it's just it's something that we all collectively go through and and it's it doesn't do us any good to ignore it because we're not in a position where we have the privilege to ignore it like the previous generations and it's something that we all feel it's always something that we all struggle with so we the best we can do is just support each other and you know be there to encourage each other through these times and just hope that, you know, once the older generation all dies out, that things will change for the better. But, you know, it'll take a lot of changing. It'll take a lot of people who uh, aren't greedy, <laughs> who aren't going to take bribes and lobbying from big corporations to advocate for passing laws and enforcing laws that only benefit the corporations and not the people. So, yeah. Also, the same people who keep encouraging me to get a roommate because it will save me so much money. Like, shouldn't a job that pays the highest rate in my field in my city be able to make ends meet on its own? Exactly. Uh, that's, that's the thing, too. It's like, why do we have to rely on a roommate? Because that's such a big risk, too. Because what if you don't know the roommate? Like, what, what if you don't, like, have a friend who is able to live with you? Then you have to rely on finding a complete stranger. And what if you don't like them? What if you don't get along? Because then you're forced to be in a, in a enclosed space. And what if they're dangerous? Because, you know, you can't just do a background check on them without, you know, having the resources to do so. It, it's just, it's really frustrating. And, and like, the, it, the people, like, shrug it off. They, like, just kind of be like, oh, well, it's not that bad. We're like, yeah, no, it's actually that bad. It's because you didn't have to go through it that you can say it's not that bad. Because you come from a place of ignorance and chosen ignorance where you have the luxury to be ignorant to it yeah i've been experiencing so many existential crises because i'm basically working in a place that pays okay but i have zero passion in it i really respect people in creative industries because y'all have the courage to do it yeah autumn i'm right there with you i am in an industry where i had a passion for it when i was younger but as i got older and older and spent more time in the field i became disillusioned and burnt out realizing that uh entitlement and uh Treating people like shit is not a generational uh, trait. It's it it's it doesn't matter which generation you're in. There are going to be people who are shitty. There are going to be people who are entitled, thinking that just because they spent money, they can treat uh, customer service or you know call center support reps however they want, and because they can do so without consequence. It's that taste of power. It's like oh, I can treat this person like shit and not have to deal with the consequences for it or have to answer for my actions. Why wouldn't I do that? And they do that. And and they justify it saying like, oh, I spent money, so I have the right to do that. Like, no. You spent money because you wanted a product and you got it. Um, the fact that you treat the people on the other end this way has nothing to do with how much money you spend. It's because you're a shitty person. And uh, like, you may not be a shitty person, but you're doing a shitty thing in that moment. And maybe you're great towards everybody else in, the li in your life, but the fact that you, as soon as you get abusive to like one person, that just shows who you are. That means you're an abuser. It doesn't matter if you're great to everybody else. The moment you're abusive to one person, you're an abuser. Whether it's verbally, physically, doesn't matter. You are now, congratulations, you're abusive. You, you, you don't have the ability to practice your patience. It's fine if you lose your temper every once in a while, but don't take it out on people you don't know. Be understanding. If you wanna take out your temper on something, don't take it out on other people and if you do apologize immediately oh thank you so much for the bits uh kai i really appreciate it uh apologize step away take time to cool down come back apologize again and then ensure the person that you're going to work on yourself and then do that uh because that's that's how you build meaningful relationships that's how you build yourself as a person uh, you don't want to be that person who grows up to be in your 60s and just hates everybody and everything in the world because you never learned how to adjust uh, to situations where things don't go your way and because you want to blame other people. Like, it's okay if you um, blame other people, 
when they make a mistake, but don't hold it over their heads. Work towards them, towards finding a solution, so that way you don't have to be pissed off anymore. Because what's the point in being pissed off if you're not working towards no longer being pissed off? If you just want to keep being pissed off, and that just means you're a miserable person and you want to make other people miserable. Because when you're angry, the, the, the perspective should be, how do I get to a point where I'm no longer angry? Your goal shouldn't be, I want to make other people angry because I'm angry. Like that, that, that's just such a toxic viewpoint. And it's okay, like, if you accidentally do that, as long as you catch yourself doing that and then work on it. Because nobody's perfect, but the best you can do is unlearn bad habits and then make it less and less frequent. That doesn't mean it's not gonna happen ever again. It's gonna happen. Like, I've, I've gotten to the point, like, where, like, I found that rules were ridiculous as well, and I've gotten pissed at them because corporate policy is bullshit. And I accidentally took it out on like, you know, individuals who had no control over it. But I caught myself and I apologized to them saying, I understand that you don't have any control over this. And I apologize for my behavior. I understand that you are just trying to help me and get along with your day. And I want to do my best to help you accomplish that as well. So what do you need from me to accomplish that? And then we work together. If it's something that I have to wait on, then I'll be like, cool, I'll wait on it. But is it cool if I check in every once in a while to make sure that it's moving along? And yeah, like, if that's the case, then, you know, it's, it, we under, you have to understand that things are, will often be out of your control and it'll be out of the person that you're talking to's control because the system was set up for you to spend money. And then if there's an issue to uh, delay fixing that issue for as long as possible to keep your money, but also not have to do anything on the back end and it's not the tech's fault because they're just there to follow the rules that they were given. It's it's the CEO's fault, really. It's it's the corporation's fault for setting up the system that way. And unfortunately, we can't change that, but the best we can do is just be patient and work with the tech because they understand it's also bullshit and they wanna do whatever they can to try to find a workaround or a loophole to help you out. Uh, so I mean and sometimes there are like individuals who are just miserable and they hate their jobs and they want to make it everybody's problem and at that point there's nothing you can do all you can really do is just request to work with another person because uh, I've happened I've had people um, in my uh, previous employment like that I've managed people like that uh, I've had bosses like that and unfortunately there's nothing you can do about it uh, other than just switch to a different company or try to help out the person the best you can. I want to believe in the inherent good in people, but I also want to start biting mean people. I, I feel that. Um, the more I work in customer service, the more that I've learned that people are not inherently good, that at, or at least from my perspective, I think at our root core, people are vicious animals because at the end of the day, we're animals. And the best we can do is unlearn that and then try to change our nature um, as much as we can because we understand that at our core, we, we have intrusive thoughts, we have uh, awful thoughts and ideas um, because we are selfish. At our core, we are selfish and the best we can do is try to unlearn that as much as we can. So that way, you're not selfish moments, outnumber your selfish moments because it is truly impossible to 100% let go of being selfish. Uh, but the best you can do is when you have those thoughts is assess them and then realize that's not how I should act and then act differently uh, because that, that's what being uh, cognizant is about being aware is about is uh, acknowledging that you have these thoughts realizing that they're wrong and then choosing to do good after uh, assessing what that good choice is rather than you know realizing that something's bad or not realizing something's bad and continue to do that behavior by just not having any self-reflection or doing what a lot of rich people do and acknowledging what's bad and then choosing what's bad anyway because it's going to benefit you. Yeah, I've, I've been lucky to have some really good roommates in my life and I've been very unlucky to have terrible roommates in my life. Um... 
Because I talked about this on Jeremy's stream. Um, I don't know if anybody was there when they were on it. I've had five roommates throughout my course in college. Um, ben was probably like the best roommate that I had just in terms of the most understandable and agreeable um, and most patient. Uh, my first roommate in college was okay until he started dating one of our friends and then they would hook up um, while I was in the room because we had a bunk bed. So uh, you, you, you can imagine that when you're in a bunk bed and he has the bottom bunk, it doesn't matter whether you're on the top or bottom, uh, physics happens. So when you're hooking up with someone in a bunk bed, the other person who's trying to sleep knows what you're doing. <laughs> and especially when all you're doing is putting up a blanket to act as a curtain and a very bad curtain because your roommate who doesn't want to see what you're doing can see what you're doing because there's also a TV, a reflection off the TV, and then you're now traumatizing your roommate. And then also my second roommate in college uh, was also very terrible because he, he refused to do a bunk bed. So uh, our beds were like on opposite sides of the room. So he would hook up with his girlfriend or not even like, you know, do whatever they're doing like with his girlfriend while I was like, on the other side of the room and I could hear and see everything and uh, whether it was nighttime or not and I was trying to fall asleep or not but also this roommate would clip his toenails and clean out his ears with q-tips and be very not aware about it so we would have toenail clippings and use q-tips all over our floor which was carpeted uh, so he truly was the worst roommate I ever had <laughs> And I, I hope I never see him ever again, because the man truly had no shame. Yeah, he just had no common sense. Like, he had no spatial awareness, no awareness of other people. He had no, like, consideration or empathy. Like, I believe to an extent that he was kind of sociopathic, uh, because he just could not empathize with other people to an extent. Um, and just didn't care like it wasn't like oh like I can't empathize with you So that makes me feel bad. It was more so I can't empathize with you. So I don't care So I'm just gonna ignore you and just move on with my life and my day Carpeted dorms are truly a special type of hell My old college roommates wanted to kick out our fourth roommate before she could even move in and I was like nope I'm out. I'm gonna move in with her. Good luck finding two more roommates. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like, yeah, that's, that sucks. Like before they even move in, like it's one thing if you already know them and you know that they're a terrible person to live with, but it's like, if you don't even know them or like you never lived with them before, why, why are you doing this? Yeah. So after having roommates like that, Ben was, Ben was like a, like a, the holy grail of roommates. Not saying that he was a bad roommate by any means. He was actually really good roommates, but it was a breath of fresh air. <laughs> And I am very thankful to him because he could have decided not to uh, room with me. I had a hoarder hoarder for my first ever roommate, and now cannot stand my second. Yeah, uh, my second roommate was also a hoarder. Uh, he, like, I, I I'm pretty sure like his Q-tip collection and toenail collection on the floor was intentional to an extent. Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do now? I've, I've been ranting so much that I haven't been paying attention to it. Oh, uh, May, thank you so much for the uh, raid. I really appreciate it. Uh, hello, thank you for joining in. Uh, for those who um, are new to the stream, I'm a tuxedo cat named August. Uh, we're playing Genshin right now. Um, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Uh, what I do here is I play video games while also uh, providing a community of mental health support for those who live with trauma. Uh, myself, I have lived through generational trauma through my culture. I've also lived through like domestic violence from my parents. So I couldn't find a community of people, uh, or, or peers of rather, who could relate to what I was going through and also who wanted to provide support for those who are going through it to encourage each other and help each other out. So, uh, I've, I've been through therapy. I am a high... Uh, advocate for therapy. I've been seeing my therapist for four years, but 
it only helps to an extent with something like this because my therapist also couldn't relate to what I was going through. Uh, so I, I sought to, you know, start streaming to, uh, as a YouTuber to help, uh, try to find people like that. And it's been wonderful. It's been great. I found so many people from all different parts of the world who not only enjoy watching me play video games, uh, but also, uh, find, um, find like, uh, kind of like support and a calming, uh, environment with this. So if that is something that appeals for you, uh, please feel free to stick around. If not, totally understand. No worries. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy to, uh, you know, continue to try to bring people together to build a community of support. If that is something that interests you. Uh, but yeah, right now we're playing Genshin. And also, uh, starting Monday, we are going to be doing like a week-long stream where I'm streaming every night. Where we'll be doing a charity stream for a Care for Gaza. So I'll be doing like Genshin, I'll be playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Persona 3 Reload, uh, Ocarina, or not Ocarina of Time, A Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And uh, you can like donate to like different things as well if you want. Uh, like for Lethal Company, we'll have like, uh, like oh fuck with us like chat, you know? Uh, where you can donate uh, to like essentially screw up our progress where you like take away the charge from our batteries, uh, spawn enemies, change day to night, change the weather. Uh, to eclipse or stormy um you know take away money from what we've raised and yeah like if, if that is something that you're interested in please feel free to give me a follow and uh yeah and i'd be happy to have you there uh raising money for a good cause for those uh displaced families in palestine uh because care for gaza provides flour um like hygiene products uh also just like general food items like milk um, and running them to uh, Palestine uh, and Gaza to uh, essentially give them resources to help them you know survive uh, I, I think they also partner with another uh, Time to organization that is working towards getting eSIMs to Gaza and Palestine to allow uh, them to communicate with the outside world and also with their families oh hi Zach thank you for joining in Oh wait, sorry, I forgot to give a shout out to May. Let me do that real quick here. I, I keep forgetting to do these shout outs. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the May raid. I really appreciate it. I saw it and I thought it said mermaid at first. So, so let me check the quest here. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I was kind of feeling a bit sluggish, like starting the stream because I woke up pretty early. But um, I, my wife made me green tea, and it's been uh, pretty great now. Yeah, Genshin is pretty fun. I've been enjoying it so far. I avoided playing it for like so long because like I didn't really think it would really appeal to me. But then. Uh, I saw that Ben voices uh, character in it, and I was like, oh, well, I want to support my friend. So then I, I started playing it. Um, and I, I saw, like, his streams and uh, what he's been doing uh, with Genshin, and it looked, it looked like a lot of fun. And I, I've been having a blast so far with it. Oh, <laughs> oh thank you so much for the Prime sub. Do you like Star Wars because Yoda Obi Wan for me? Oh, that's 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 amazing. For that, I gotta give you this. Hold up, where is it? Where did it go? That that that. Congratulations! That Congratulations! Congratulations! If my calculations are correct, Wanwen Bookhouse is due to receive a batch of new releases today. Might Actually, I did almost get addicted because I got so uh, frustrated and caught up with like uh, getting primos and then like doing pulls that I started getting addicted to the game and it just gave me an unhealthy mindset. And I was like, you know what? I shouldn't do this. Um, I should actually not focus so much on the gotcha aspect and just play the game uh, and enjoy the story and the characters. And I have been. And it's been so great. Pick a piece of paper snow. Where, where is the paper snow? Is that outside? It looks like it's outside. Oh right, no, it's it's the bulletin board, isn't it? Yeah, it wants me to go to the bulletin board, I think. Huh? Well, that was 
was an easy search. The biggest sheet is right up there in the most obvious spot. Let's go with that one. Co-op has really got me hooked on the game. It's so fun. Yeah, co-op has been great. Um, it's been really helping fast forward things Let's along because otherwise I'd be it. grinding for so long. Oh, no problem, Michael Biter. Thank you for uh, joining in. Uh, I hope you get plenty of rest. Huh? There's a place marked with a circle on here. <gasps> oh, could it be treasure? Oh, Papa Whatever it is, it treasure. better make us filthy rich. Let's see what's written over here. Oh, thank you so much for the head pat, Clay. I really do co-op. I have Genshin social anxiety. That's fair. Um, luckily, everyone in the Discord has been super chill. Uh, they've been very willing to help out. Like even Say like when I last moved, they're like, "Hey, like I might play some Genshin. Genshin, anybody want to uh, help out?" Copy. So everybody's huh? been really great. I really appreciate all the support. Oh, no problem. No problem, Gabby. Um, I hope your work meeting goes well. Aw, oh, that doesn't sound like treasure at all. Oh, this piece of paper shows that a cheesing spy discovered traces of classified Fatui research on the sigil of permission. Yeah, the three Nahidas and um, also... Who was it who was like pointing a rifle at my head throughout like the, the, one of the uh, the co-ops? Oh, Ningguang did say that the Fatui have been up to all kinds of mischief in the shadows of Liyue. Spreading yeah, it has rumors, been fun, just like decimating bosses. The even though I don't really have to do anything. Research on the sigil of permission. Paimon wonders what they're up to. Speaking of which, there's also some connection between you and the sigil of permission. Seems there's still more for us to find out. Oh yeah, it's all coming. Uh, oh, it's all coming together. You really think so? Someone with a Chevy. <laughs> well, should we not go then? Oh, so you're saying that it's precisely because we can't completely trust Ningguang that we should confirm the truth of what she says for ourselves. Uh, sure. I don't necessarily follow. Hmm. That's way out of Paimon's league. Paimon thinks she's been nothing but good to us. Anyway, we'll see if you're onto something. Yeah, um, we'll before see. Before we look for Zhongli at Dihua Marsh, let's go to the place marked out on these papers and see if the Fatui really are up to no good there. Okay. Oh, now we can uh, level up Zhongli a bit more. Maybe like one more level. Yeah. Get her to we'll try to get her to level 60 as much as we can. <laughs> Going to be eating dinner now, but have a great rest of the stream. Oh, no problem, May. Thank you so much for joining, and thank you again so much for the raid. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoy dinner. Shevrius uh, carries a musket thing. Oh, I thought you meant Chevy the car company. Like, I thought you meant, like, like a Chevrolet. That's, like, whoever pointed the gun at me, like, is clearly a Chevy driver because, like, you know, like, the, the stereotype about, like, oh, if you drive a Chevy, you're probably, like... But then again, that's probably Ford. Like, it's probably people, like, who drive Fords who, like, people expect to, like, uh, like, have guns. It's like, if you're gonna want... If you want my guns, you're gonna have to take it from me. You're gonna have to kiss me for them with them soft, smooth lips. Just, you know, with those eyes pulling me in. You want my guns? Come and take it from me caress me on the back of my neck and do that little thing that you do with biting the ear if anyone's seen that tiktok i don't i'm sorry if like it's like creeping people out but <laughs> it's a really funny tiktok wait what's for truck month <laughs> is that an uwu moment a doki doki uwu moment What if we kiss that Toyota thon? <laughs> yeah. Merry Chrysler. Merry Crisis. Ah! Okay, am I supposed to fight? Head to the location marked on the. Is, that, is this the location? I think this is the location. Oh, that was good. 
I, I just learned like two days ago what talents are. Cut to the chase. I'll be fine. It's still a struggle, but at least I'm doing it. So this one with the shield is uh Rain outlines your face. Oh, that's a lot of it. Party, uh, hmm. what are they for? Oh, I should start art consider artifact farming soon. So, what is artifact farming? Because I do have a lot of artifacts, but I don't really know like uh, how I should focus going about. Do like should I level up? Like which artifact should I level up? Like I'm I not entirely sure about that. I haven't seen this pattern before, but where? Have you ever felt like you got hit by two cars and end up paralyzed from top to bottom and out of hatred to the world you develop telekinesis and find out by reading your mind that your girlfriend and best friend are cheating on you so you take over their mind trapping them in their own body while you use them to take over and burn the world down well that's what it feels like to drive a ford 50 a ford f-150 is that like a meme or did you, did you just come up with that from the top of your head the Chevy talk made me think, uh, I saw another version of that, like it was like, imagine being a crab living in the New York sewers, fighting with a rat for a piece of bread. Meanwhile, you are being actively hunted by a pigeon that, who you owe a blood debt. That's what it feels like to drive a Ford F-150. These are like, this is like creative oh, writing level, enough. like, uh, it looks just like, like the sigil of specific the child these. gave you. Artifact farming isn't really worth it until AR-45. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm like 32, mm -hmm. I think now. But how did a relic of the Adept die end up in the hands of someone like Child? Suspicious. It's not just oh, a relic. Oh, that's right. Cloud Retainer said that when the Lord of Geo created the Sigil of Permission, it wasn't to be used as some old relic. Talismans like that were once used in the...
in the Archon War to channel divine powers. Avoid farming them for as long as possible. It's the worst part of the game. Oh, uh, does that we mean it's like super Tatsui tedious and annoying? We are copying the sigil of permission in hopes of achieving a similar effect. Being able to channel divine power in battle? Whew, that sounds pretty dangerous. Seems the Fatui are definitely up and to something. The plot thickens. Oh no, not more we'll gotcha. Oh my god, child, I hate gotcha sure. systems so much. Mm. Oof. All right, that's enough sticking around here. We gotta go meet up with Zhang Li soon. The last stop on our right of parting preparations tour is Dihua Marsh. Let's go, Paimon hates being late. Okay, Paimon. Sure, whatever you say, you're the boss. <laughs> I just want to get a better weapon for um for Kaching. Like I I I like the Harbinger of Dawn, but I want like better weapon, like better damage output. The main stat, gotcha. The four substats, also gotcha. The leveling up, also gotcha. Yeah, I hate it. Oh man. All right, where am I going next? Going there. Alright. I'm gonna teleport here then. What is that down there? <laughs> Artifacts need a long explanation. Oh gotcha. Oh, it's a fishing spot. Oh, they're gone. Wait, what is this? Oh, we already unlocked this. All right, yep, headed back here. My ADHD with big age makes it hard for me to listen and understand. That's that's fair. It's it sounds like it'd be like a lot of reading and then hearing explanations to the point where just your eyes just gloss over. Cause like that's how I felt when uh, Sucrose was going over, or Sucrose and like the dude at like the crafting area <laughs> were going over like the trading card game rules. I was just like, I don't know if I should care about any of this. I don't really plan on doing any of the trading card game. Oh, someone's targeting me. Yeah, I mean, if anything, I'll probably need to like just look up like guides on like artifacts. Right on time. I myself only. One of my friends had to make ago. me a PowerPoint presentation to explain artifacts. And I said, "Yo, do they still have that pre uh, art uh, presentation?" Me and Did the other enjoy three TCG players are gonna write. I'm so sorry, stick fishy. It was so big and pretty and expensive. Paimon's never seen such a fancy schmancy place before. It was okay, Paimon. I mean, come on, like. Indeed. We've seen it's better. It's second to none in all of Liyue. Then you met with Ningguang, I trust. What did you talk about? I with mean, her? Paimon. There was a person who was barely sweeping the floor, and there was another person just rubbing the door. Like. Ha she's super rich. I'd, I'd be and kind so of concerned. Generous? <sighs> Paimon thinks she's very friendly. They ran out of space on drive and deleted. Uh, not, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of guides online Wong that I can look up. quite different from Paimon's. He thinks that even the tackless Yu Hung is more trustworthy yeah, than let's her. Yeah, let's petition for a Cobb and uh, trading card game card in the game. Oh. Especially so since like they did like well, like the Kuching Discovery then. like um, channel like promotion say? with Cobb and. Wouldn't they have like a Cobb and like uh, like card in the works at least with that design she i feel like that's something that they could the use the time of the adepti has long passed if even the liu at Qixing don't want to face that truth then what future is there for liu that's a good question <laughs> no respect for the divine indeed contrary to the everbold kuching ningguang is more of a businesswoman at heart hmm. Though they are both members of the Cheesing. Hmm. Although she's friendly, 
There's no way of clearly discerning her true intentions. Ning Wang is highly intelligent. Ning Wang is highly ambitious. I mean, she's both. They're both intelligent. Yes. She has only relied on herself to rise to her current position. No ordinary person could ever achieve that. Ziox is really good guide for character building. What is that? It's said that she's the one behind the constant expansion of the Jade Chamber. It's the second oh, most they, oh, important they make thing guides. to her. Okay, so that's their user. Even if gotcha. she ever gave up the position of Tian Xuan, she would never give up the Jade Chamber. The Jade Chamber is only second. What's the most important thing to her then? Why, Mora, of course. Makes sense. All Ningguang talked about was the Fatui this and the Fatui that. She said that after Rex Lapis was murdered, the Fatui have constantly been trying to sink their fingers into Liyue and that they aren't to be trusted. They aren't to be trusted. That is okay. how the Fatui have always been. It doesn't surprise me in the least. And now they are trying to reproduce a sigil of permission. Oh, I thought that said persimmon. <laughs> Sorry, it's it's I like I said, I can't read. I thought we're I thought it said sigil of persimmon. Hmm. Kaching Mains is a good website too. Ooh, I'll um if you want to drop that in the Discord, I'll definitely check that out. Uh thank you so no much. No matter what they may be planning, you must be careful when dealing with the Fatui. Always be on your guard. So Nobody trusts Is there the anything we need to get for the right of parting in Diwa Marsh? Yes, this has as a matter a of fact, there is. For the right of Today we'll be gathering wild glaze lilies. Are we really? still investigating well, who killed Rex Lapis? Here? It just seems like the garden and nobody seems to be asking that question anymore. Even Ching's village has glaze lilies. Oh, right. Paima remembers that Madame Ping is always tending to flowers. Maybe we could ask her. Has anyone ever tried to solve the maze on uh, Zhongli's back? Is that even solvable? No. Keep that question Those in mind. lilies have all been guarded oh, by find people. Out why. They won't do it all. Is it like a murder on the Orn Express like situation where everybody was in on it? Where it's just like, oh, like everybody killed Rex Lapis. Oh, Indy Gabby, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much. I really do appreciate the follow. Dihua Marsh used to be full of glaze lilies. It is a sort of joyful flower that listens to human song. Before the Archon War, Dihua Marsh was all dry land and fertile soil. But the war caused landslides, and the land was flooded. If anything, into that was a power move, subbing now. and then following. Nearly all the glazed lilies were wiped out. Of course, there are some kinds of flowers that have been preserved and gardened by people in the city. Wild you, you glazed did, lilies uh, have the strongest fragrance. You did something original, if we I want guess. to follow the true tradition of the rite of parting, we must grind up the wild lilies and place the powder in a censer of everlasting incense. But I'll need okay, your so, assistance yeah, so in we're gathering doing a these whole flowers. Lot. Um, as long as we don't have to talk to the perfume lady again, because she makes me really uncomfortable. So you need me to sing? <laughs> That's correct. Your Something singing original will surely bring out the strongest Ooh, fragrance from 10. the flowers. That is true. Um, you're... you're <laughs> Your pun was was A tier. That was really good. Uh, so how good that deserved a congratulations. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. We can never escape perfume lady. She like the perfume lady like reminds me of like Judy from like uh Ba Sing Se, like in the Avatar series, where it's just like she's creepy, she keeps following you around and like she she doesn't want you to uh leave her sight. I'm a pro, just step back and listen. Really? Why doesn't Paimon believe you? We'll only know once he starts singing. Yeah. Valjean, at last, we see each other plain. Monsieur Le Maire, you wear a different chain. So, like, I've been, like, a huge fan of Les Mis, like, since I was, like, in high school. 
and I did not know that Le Maire was like them literally saying like it's time to like Mr. Le Maire. I didn't know that meant Mr. Mayor. Like for the whole time. I thought that was just like what Valjean like kind of like changed his name to. Um da, Like when he changes da, 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 that. Oh, oh, he's da, actually singing. Da, da, da. What? Okay. Oh, what the fuck? These flowers are dripping. They Why would really you do that, crazy. traveler? Is this because you sang a song for Mondstadt that they don't understand here in Lila? No, it was so bad that they just hated it and they had to come over here to kick our ass. But not, I'm kidding. That wasn't actually very bad. That actually wasn't bad. Now I'm just being ambushed. Traveler's annual voice line. Is that his like one only line? Ah! I keep getting frozen. Why am I? No, no, I don't want to swim. I don't want to be stuck in the water. Let me out. Oh no, this is awful. I hate that I keep getting frozen. Rain outlines your and I'm gonna try to Oh man, these guys are really annoying. With sword comes shadow. I made an amazing joke about Lame Miss Marvel High School. Do you remember what it was? Oh my god, stop it. You are all so annoying. I hate these uh these plants. I forgot what they're called. Stronger than oh, I you are kicking my ass. What the no hell? Point. Like, they're not even giving me a chance to move. No, my sword. Time to act. Okay, you gotta, you gotta stop doing that, my dude. Wait, how did I get frozen? Wait, how do I keep getting frozen? Not good. Wait, where did the third one come from? I thought I took you out. <laughs> Let me leave you a verse. I hate that, like, I can immediately get frozen from getting hit by that. Like, not even that it's like a build up, I just immediately get frozen. And then I just keep stacking. As soon as I break out of a freeze, there's like no cooldown. I just immediately get frozen. And then when I when they say what, I'm gonna tell them, do you hear the people sing? Oh, that's amazing. That is also a very good song. Like, it, it really does, like, get you hyped Those up for, like, Act lilies. 2 in the song. If, if you like stories that are filled with trauma, um, highly recommend R Les Mis. Uh, and especially, like, if... This little monster is known as a Very few flower. Uh, characters have a happy ending in the... Hmm. In the, um... The glaze lilies the used as a disguise were buried with the Whopper flower for too long. The result seems to have surprisingly potent medicinal value. Very good story, but I don't recommend reading a novel unless you find a novel where like all the political stuff like uh, about like the like the French Revolution is like taken out uh, and like the June Rebellion, because uh, Victor Hugo well, got inspired to nice write Les Mis because his dad was killed in the June Rebellion uh, by the military. I think when the students uh, were. Uh, essentially fighting against like the French army. Unfortunately, and, no. Uh, a lot of it is, it's also like, technically a political manifesto. Like a lot of, it, it's like Les Mis, but then he throws in a lot of like, uh, like, I, I don't remember what time period it was, but a lot of politics like revolving around Napoleon and like the June Rebellion and like the, uh, like kind of like the aristocracy that like uh, came about after Napoleon's uh, waged his war. Um, so because lame. my understanding is Excuse that they like me. they overthrew a king uh, and then they insta instated another king who was worse if not just as bad uh, 
Are you and, and that was like the Blaise whole thing Lilies? that inspired like the June Rebellion, which then led to like the French Revolution. Oh, uh, hey, so a lot of that is politics that just went I, over my head because it's like French I politics back remember. from like that time period. Hello, traveler. I'm surprised you still remember my name. But very good story, uh, especially like if you like tragedies. Ah, that reminds me. How was your visit to the Jade Chamber? Uh, and there are a lot of theories that like the the uh, the title Les Mis isn't really referring to the the like the the main characters you see. It's referring to like the Tenardiers, who are like the scam artists, uh, because they are kind of at the center of like all these tragedies that all these like other characters are experiencing. They're at the center of it, and they're like comic relief, but also I tell you the they're way? also very Surely depressed and miserable, and they like live in squalor. Uh, because Eponine is Tenardier, but, uh, Tenardier, but also, like, uh, nope. we found the a little-known fact own. from people who haven't read the book is that Gavroche is also a Tenardier. Um, and I apologize for those who aren't familiar with Les Mis, and, like, this is just, like, lore that you don't care about, but, uh, for, for those who are Les Mis fans, it's, it's a very interesting analysis. Oh, I see. Uh-oh. I guess I really did forget to tell them. I wonder when Gan Yu is going to be back on Banner again. Huh. Something seems a little off about Gan Yu. She's acting different from the first time we met. Where's her serious attitude now? Oh, well, I met you at that time as an emissary of the Tianquan. But now, I am simply out on a stroll to see the flowers. Do you think those horns are real, or are they just, like, decoration? You came all the way out here to see the flowers? Why not just enjoy the gardens of the city? <sighs> Yujing Terrace is where Rex Lapis parted from this world. If I strolled through God, those lonely gardens now, why are I all these characters so old? It. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm not like saying like, oh, they're old. Like, uh, why why can't they be younger? But it's just like whenever my duties it's, it's like take so me near all Yujing over the Terrace place with these, these characters. Days. I they're like the either like they've been over alive the for like thousands of years and their skincare is just like insane or they're like children oh, sorry we shouldn't have brought it up some are mythological beings oh, okay so is no is it's ganyu like technically right. like a god i just haven't processed my emotions yet yeah i mean 2000 is still pretty old like if if, if they're over a thousand i'd be like okay like you gotta be like when some the kind Archon of War being. came to its end two thousand years ago, the first iteration Hell, of the even seven would gather in Liyue old, and drink like, with Rex Lapis. Shit. But five of those original seven had already passed before Rex Lapis. <laughs> it's truly all a I remember is the, the Coco Goat and the Adepta Beast, and then because it, it reminds me of Animorphs. Yes, now that the spirit of Rex Lapis has returned to the heavens, only Barbados of Mondstadt remains oh, no of problem, the first Mate. seven. We were just talking about like Lemes, or rather I was, <laughs> and I was just ranting about The other about five, Lemes. including Inazuma's Raiden and Shogun, are no longer the same well. friends from two thousand years ago. I haven't processed my emotions yet. Yeah, it's been two thousand years. I haven't processed my emotions yet. Yeah, same. Of the I current also have seven not, Archon, uh, processed my emotions the from youngest years is ago. Sumeru's God of Dendro. She is merely five hundred years old, whereas Rex Lapis yeah, was more than six thousand years old good. at the time of his passing. <laughs> This means that Liyue had been under Rex Lapis's rule from the moment it was first founded 3,700 years ago. Were you there for that? The city has never had to bid farewell to its deity. Well, I mean, first time for everything. So what do you think of this farewell? Huh? This... This is a little sudden. I... <sighs> As a mortal, I've never dared to imagine a Liyue without Rex Lapis. Really? Like, not even, like, to think about, like, philosophy-wise, like, what would happen if he was no longer around? I mean, you, especially since you know that gods aren't technically immortal, that gods can die. But as an adeptus... And that's, like, not new knowledge. What do you think, think I like... Will eventually hmm, I wonder come what happened, like, reality. if our god died. Should we, like, have, like, a fail safe Since for that? Rex like, Lapis to, has like, passed, the time of Liyue's contract with the gods and adepti has now reached its end. Huh? Did you just say, as an adeptus? Oh, she's half human, half adeptus. So yes, does like adeptus I, mean like you're a demigod? Then? I am a mix of human and chilean. Adeptus blood flows through my veins. 
I fought for Rex Lapis and the city of Leoa during the Archon War. After the war ended, I signed a contract with Rex Lapis and took the position as secretary for the Chising. I've continued those duties to this very day. So you're howled? That explains the forgetfulness. So you're half. Uh, was it Chilean? That explains the horns. Uh. uh. Excuse me. Oh, that tasted like Taco Bell. Sorry if that grossed anybody out. Well, uh, let's Eliminated save that conversation beast. for another day. I don't know what that means. Do you say that you are here looking for glaze lilies? They're kind of just mythological beings that can change form, e.g. Zhao. Oh, okay. From what I, I also understand, that's very common in, um, in, uh, See, in like, Asian, like, uh, mythologies. Here, you may have it if like, you wish. Like, the idea of, like, a spirit, uh, like, or, like, you know, like a guardian, like a spirit, uh, being able to take form of an animal. Yeah, with, with all the cranes, yeah. Uh, the ideas of like spirits uh, being able to change the cranes is like a very common thing in Korean mythology as well. <laughs> we dare not refuse it. Oh, so did you sing a song before you picked the lily? Indeed, I did. I know this tradition well. In fact, I sang a local Leo a ballad to it. Is it uh, I Write Sins Not Tragedies? Wow, so you really know your stuff, too. Thanks, like Ganyu. Okay, so yeah, they're like guardian spirits, because, like, yeah, it's, like, common to have, like, guardian spirits that are, like, like, on an ancestral level, where, like, you have, like, spirits that watch over your family. There's also, like, spirits that watch over, like, your entire province, like, spirits that watch over your crops. It's, like, it's very much, like, elemental to, like, um, what is prevalent to your life, I guess. Like there's there's like spirits for like good fortune for money for like good business. How can we how can we work early two thousands emo's music into every stream exactly? That's my priority here. No, it is you who Whether I should be thinking. Whether it's organic or not, that's that's if what not I for this chance meeting, I never thought that I would be able to contribute to the upcoming farewell for yeah, our my ancient age lord. Isn't showing. Though then again, um. Emo, like, 2000 emo music, it's, like, making a comeback among, like, the, like, younger generation. Because, um, when we were at the mall, we saw, like, uh, someone who I, who I'm assuming was a teenager wearing a Green Day shirt. Um, and MCR is still very popular among, like, the younger generations as well. If you would excuse me, I should return to my work now. Though it's a bit and more niche that just than, about like, more wide, it. like, mainstream. Our preparations for the rite popular. of parting are mostly finished. Given the ease of picking glaze lilies, I think this was a fitting end to our tasks, in more ways than one. Jean Lee, you seem suited working in agricultural development. Yeah, Paimon can already imagine him starting a business in Liyue. <laughs> I've had enough ventures in my life already. Beginning a new undertaking is always difficult at first, and requires no small amount of effort. And once business is at full steam, the stress of it all only wears away at you over time. Huh. So you must be careful to take the time to step back and re-examine yourself. How philosophical. If left unchecked, the wear and tear on your heart may go well past mending. Make sure to write that down, everybody. Wow. See? Jolly sounds like he's already seen it all. Well, I mean, he's like thousands of years old too, right? Alright. I think it's about time we head back Jean to Leo. looks like he could now. turn into a dragon. Yeah, thank you, Grandpa. Your wisdom will prove very useful. Exactly wise words from the man who took my money. You're pretty well-spoken for a freeloader. It's like the quote that I said last time. You're a very well-spoken freeloader, but a freeloader nonetheless. I can't wait to get new wings. Huh? What happened? The city gate is swarming with Nilith and the Oh my god, are they are they doing like a coup? Are they, ah, are they you're storming the You're the consultant to Wongsheng Funeral Parlor. Mr. Zhongli, I presume. 
The Millilith are watching our every move now. These are desperate times. We mustn't act rashly. Desperate times? Calls for desperate The measures. Adepti of Joyun Karst are finally on the move. Do they intend to exercise force? Most likely. I've heard that some members of the Chising have already gone to meet them. Well, I say you meet, ask, but it's more like they're attempting to stall the Adepti yeah, outside the city. However, both sides were quite obstinate and hid an impasse. It seems inevitable, given the current it situation. Seems we have reached an impasse. The Adepti do not acknowledge the Chising. They only acknowledge the contracts of the Geo Archon. If the two sides come to blows, Liyue Harbor will be in no position to stop them. Surely the Liyue Chising are not the sort to give in so easily. <laughs> Their boneheadedness is known throughout the land. It's kind of funny seeing that Yet like the animations are still like set that to like and the Chinese are stuff now on the verge of because uh, like with Mandarin, the text is so much shorter. Uh, than like English because it's not like written out like uh, letter by letter. It's like the symbols like represent like specific words. Um, so they'll stop talking, but we'll still hear the English audio. It's actually really funny. Went to the shop and there was no soft tofu, but there was kangaroo. And what now? I wonder what sundubu would How taste like with kangaroo How is it like that the Fatui have come under fire? I really do wonder. Because I doubt that anybody in the world has ever made sundubu with kangaroo meat. That's got to be a first. They got complaints about that, but I feel like it's a bit better in recent quotes. I wouldn't. It's not necessarily uh, something. So it's all it's not necessarily something that I would complain about because I can understand why. Because it's a lot of work to like reanimate the uh, mouth of was just for the dubbing. When I don't think it necessarily takes away from the experience. She yeah, proclaimed uh, that in these yeah, tumultuous times, well. the Millilith uh, must rein in the actions of the Fatui. You would have to, let's see, how would you do this with eggs instead of tofu? Uh, you can try whipping the eggs first and then maybe like microwaving it with milk. So yeah, that, that's how you do it. Because if you want to give like uh, eggs like a soft, silky texture, uh, cook it with milk. And then once it's cooked, put that into the, uh, to the uh, soup. And then it, it should give you the texture that you want. Yeah, cause cause you want like a soft, silky texture, like 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 scrambled kind of, but like soft scrambled. Yeah, that's true. Like yeah, it's, it's really the emotion you get from us? the VA performance, not necessarily like that's the, the lips movie for you. anyway. So yeah, not necessarily like an egg drop soup because egg drop soup, like the egg is like a bit more stringy, um, and, and more kind of like flowy. Whether where with like tofu, like you want it like a silky mass, like with soft tofu, it's it's hard to really, um, it's hard to really like explain it, uh, cause I never I never substituted egg for tofu. Whenever I'm making something and it's vegetarian, I normally do the opposite where I substitute tofu for egg. Yeah, I'm sorry. It sucks that you can't find tofu anywhere. Anyway, Mr. Zhongli, you're one of Child's close associates. Please understand that your actions will reflect on us. Don't let anyone. Are there like catch other like guard. maybe like Asian markets or farmers markets in your area that might have tofu? It looks like things are about to boil over in Liyue Harbor. I would say the best way to describe uh, that texture would probably be soft boiled eggs. If you can find soft boiled eggs, or if you can boil uh, soft boiled eggs yourself, then that's like the tofu texture that you want. Oh, they had firm tofu? Yeah, soft tofu is like a bit more like specific. Yeah, I would recommend soft boiling the eggs first and then uh, breaking them into chunks and then putting that into the soup. It's not going to be a one-to-one -one identical, but it'll be close enough. And for anybody who hasn't tried some tofu before, which is like Korean soft tofu soup, highly recommend it. It's so good, especially when it's been raining or if it's just a cold day. It's such a good like soup to have and it, it just... Do you intend to use it's your just, neutral really identity like, as an intermediary it's between healthier both than sides? Hot pot, but it's kind of like similar or to hot pot. Will you use your sword to turn the It's balance. got like a little bit of a spice to it. Because you're putting in like red pepper paste and like kimchi. Neither path is an easy one. Oh, by the way, Mr. Zhongli, we've heard that the Wangsheng funeral parlor has also been caught up. Yeah, if you're ever curious about Korean food, I'm currently got squaring you. off like, with I the grew authorities. Up eating the Korean food, um, and my mom taught me how to cook a lot of it. 
so uh, I can definitely help you if you're like curious on like, oh, like what should I try based on my palate? Things are taking a turn for the worse. It's going to be 100 degrees over these next couple days, so I'll make it a few days for now. Um, if you want like a cold dish, um, there's a thing called like mornengmyeon. I don't know if you really like it, uh, but it's essentially like uh, chilled buckwheat noodles and like a, uh, like a, a, a meat broth. Uh, generally what you can do is you can like slice up zucchini and like eggs uh, you can put in like uh, I'm afraid I must leave now to handle things uh, back like at Wang Sheng funeral park into it. I hope that master who uh, has like been really able good. to keep things uh, under control for about. the it's, moment it's very good uh, but it's it's got like a bit of a sour vinegary taste so if you're not because it's, it's like a vinegary meat broth that's been chilled if that's not your cup of tea then I wouldn't really recommend it you can also try what's even um you could try what's even like more uh, easier on the palate. Consider your is, next course of action uh, carefully, like traveler. Soy sauce. Uh, if Nike you're trying to prevent an explosion, as, uh, it may like be wisest to look for the fuse first. Or kangjang karkuksu, uh, which is uh, kind of like a chilled soy sauce broth with uh, like hand cut flour noodles, um, uh, like chilled in it. And that's also really good. Uh, you can have it with like, again, like sliced zucchini the uh, or cucumber. Uh, you could put in, so you know, like thinly sliced like, pork belly or like, uh, or what am I thinking of? Like, like pig's feet? You could have it with pig's feet. Pig's feet is also really good. Uh, child. Oh, Paimon gets it. If there's anyone that wants to see the whole yeah, city turned upside is down, really good it's on like a hot day. Him. It's like super popular in Korea, like during the summer, to a point where like restaurants will sell out of them because it's just such a tradition to have it on a hot day. He must be waiting for the moment when no one is watching to do something weird. Really and it's also bad. good for your digestion and immune system. Well, where could we find him now? Where would he go at a time like this? There's only one place he would go. The bank. Or who knows, I don't really know. I do not like auto mod sometimes. I don't know why it blocked that message. Yeah, if you ever want recipes, I got you. Uh, there's also a really good uh, YouTube channel. She's like a Korean mom who like who teaches you like how to make Korean recipes. I think it's called like Mangchi or something like that. I could be wrong. But she also has a lot of good recipes for like different Korean foods. When the broth has a slushy ice in it, yes, that's the best. So like with like Mun or like the uh, chilled buckwheat noodles, like uh, what a lot of restaurants like to do is they like to make the broth beforehand and then they like freeze it into ice and then they'll thaw it out and then they'll let it melt into the broth with like chunks of ice still in there and it's so good. Kimchi grilled cheese is so good. I love kimchi curl cheese. Teleport waypoint. I guess I gotta walk all the way back up there. I use the website Korean Pop Song for recipes. That's also a good one. Yeah, like like back then when I was growing up, you couldn't find Korean recipes anywhere. You just had to hopefully know an Ajima who would like have like the knowledge of like her past like generations who like were like passed down to her but now like with the like the internet being what it is you can find like any korean recipe anywhere happy, happy, happy. oh andy th thank you so much for the uh follow i think you are the third person to follow me with rat in your name which is which is fine um i'm i'm completely fine with uh um with having uh all the rats follow which is also kind of interesting because i'm a cat and all the rats are flocking to me speaking of rats um if you are a fan of rats uh there uh is a dnd campaign through college humor called dimension 20. oh and your bff oh thank you so much for the follow oh ozzy thank you for the follow uh weren't you already following me or did you like unfollow and then refollow Oh, you wanted the happy? That's fair. Just don't eat me? Don't worry, I'll make sure not to eat you. Uh, but yeah, um, if anyone hasn't heard of, uh, anybody here hasn't heard of Dimension 20 before, uh, it's pretty much like a bunch of the college humor cast, like playing D&D, &D, and it's like really fun. Um, 
You can watch a lot of the episodes on YouTube. Uh, they also post new episodes to their uh, website, dropout.tv, which is like a $5 subscription a month. Um, and there is uh, uh, like a campaign that they play where uh, Murph plays uh, like a giant sewer rat in New York City, and his name is Cugrash. So he was a person who was transformed into a rat by a curse, and he wears like like the like the uh, what is it um, like the the orange like bright vest that like construction workers wear uh, because he just um, his fashion is just whatever he finds amassed in the sewer, and at one point they fight uh, like just a pile of rats, and then he rolls like I think a nat twenty on like intimidation and persuasion. So that way he convinces them to make him their rat king. And he reluctantly is a rat king. Like he really doesn't want to because he finds them gross. Because he's a human who's a turn rat. So he still thinks like piles of rats are gross. But they all look up to him. We need to not talk during this part so August doesn't get distracted. I'm so sorry. Uh, August, can you be my Ajima? Yeah, I can be your Ajima and your Ajashi. Oh wait, what is this? Am, am I doing a domain? Rats are amazing, but oh my geez, they're so strong. Yeah, especially when you can, when you like start fighting like uh, like packs of rats. They can do some serious damage. Wait, Child's the boss? I have to fight Child? Oh, is Child one that, who's behind the Rex Lapis' is death? Is that what I haven't been paying attention to? It looked impressive enough from the outside, but who would have guessed that it was even fancier on the inside? Oh, you spoiled it's all. So full of Wait, is that, is that happening soon? Because it's okay if it's about to happen. I won't where be offended. All that's more is minted, right? It's In okay. Case, no, don't worry about it, Kai. It's, it's all cool. Maybe they won't notice if a few more go missing. Oh, they mentioned it was... Yeah, because they, they did mention a confronting child. It's like we're in Smog's lair. Uh, okay, so I see a passed out soldier in the corner there, and I see a whole bunch of coins. Touch a single mora and we're done for. Oh, so it's a trap! Tricky, it's all good. tricky. Good thing Paimon's got you here. But even if we can't take any, we can still have a closer look, right? Or better yet, take a nap on top of a mountain of Mora. It's like a dream come true. We'd better check on the Exuvia oh, first. Oh, right. Back to business. It's quiet. Too quiet. I Surely thought Chell was a good guy. Someone's gotta be guarding something as important as the Exuvia. Huh? Look. What happened here? They've been knocked unconscious. Uh-oh. Paimon smells trouble. Oh, sorry, Paimon. I farted. Quick! We have to go make sure that the Exuvia is all right. That's what we were supposed to think? Yeah, he was so charming. It's always those who are charming. Wait, is Rex Lapis not dead? Child is a gray area. Yeah. Is that Rex Lapis? All right, Exodia, come and obliterate me. Oh, that's his corpse? Oh, well, they didn't mention that they were holding onto his corpse. Oh, he redeemed You've himself. You've already okay. fulfilled your task as guides. So why do you still linger here? Haven't you already seen enough trouble for today? Huh? Who's there? <sighs> If you were Fatui, I imagine that you would be entitled to a generous reward from the Tsaritsa herself. But now, you're nothing but dross, and you're in my way. I'm not dross, you're dross. How did you find out it was here? Hmm, where should I start? Oh well, shit, it's I've never boy. been one to beat around the bush, you oh, know. Oh shit, what up? Who could have possibly guessed hey, that the god of Geo would mysteriously perish the very moment I arrived in Liyue? And that the Exuvia would subsequently be hidden away. And Sharon's having a rough day. He's a stalker. He's stalking us. If it weren't for that lovely little rite of parting ceremony you put together, Husbando. it would have taken me a whole lot longer to get the information I needed. Stopping the more immense, hiding away the Exuvia. <laughs> the Chising are really pulling out all the stops this time. Oh, I don't know how to feel. This is giving me so many mixed emotions just welling up inside me. Oh. Uh, so you've been planning to take uh, the Gnosis oh. from inside the Exuvia all along? Huh. As one of the eleven Fatui Harbingers, 
It's my duty to see the will of the Tsaritsa fulfilled. Thank you, Kaya. <laughs> yep. I'm letting all the emotions out in the form of gas. She will get that which she desires. Yeah. <laughs> That's my lore. I'm a gassy cat who can't read who's also a cat god. It really is a protein bars. I bought a bunch of protein bars on clearance and uh while they're while they're doing their job, uh Yeah, protein bars and Taco Bell are not a good mixture. Not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> I'm not asking for your blessing, and there's nothing you can do to stop me anyway. I'll use my toxic fumes to uh to defeat you, child. The time for discussion and diplomacy has already passed. I mean, if it were up to me. Diplomacy I would have skipped that stage to begin with. But I'm willing to do as the Tsaritsa deems fit. For any uh, wonderful 101 fans out there. Either way, we now come to my favorite part. A simple pleasure, and one that I am oh so delighted to be sharing with you. The battle. Oh, so we're actually going to call it the battle? Battle? So you're the type that goes looking for trouble, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you could say that. Yeah, say. <laughs> when Signora offended the deities outside the cathedral in Mondstadt, I'm taking all this money. I'm getting out of here. She swiftly left the say. scene once her mission was There's accomplished. Nothing you can do a thing to stop me. There's nothing you can do about it. Instead of confronting you yeah, directly, yeah, yeah, yeah. she chose to rely on the snow and ice to make her escape. She wouldn't want the knights to come running towards the sound of battle now, would she? <laughs> when she faces a worthy opponent, she will prioritize her mission, weigh the outcomes, and consider the consequences of her actions. But as for me, the greatest pleasure of being a harbinger lies in crossing blades with strong opponents. We won't let what happened in Mondstadt ever happen again! Oh, so you intend to fight me? Good. I won't kill you, Traveler. Ooh, I'll just good. play along to feel the thrill of battle. You're getting a little too into this, child. Besides, you could never defeat me, not even in your wildest dreams. But hey, try to relish the fight anyway, because if you ask me, without that, what else is there? Hey, that's pretty good. I could never defeat you? You're completely delusional. <laughs> this is a sea urchin. Fighting talk, I love it. Now let's see you live up to it. Don't make this me chance is hard you, to come child. by, so show me all you've got. So very few ever get the chance to square off with the Fatui Harbinger. Oh wait, I didn't so heal before now. doing this. Amuse me, and don't you dare disappoint. Ow. All right. Run it's, okay. You like. it's okay, it's okay, we can do this. How unbecoming. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no, that's not good at all. Ow. Oh, he hits hard. Don't be scared. Oh, confirmed. Oh, no. Try this. Nope. I want to live. Time to act. doing this child I'm just trying to heal oh you it's so slow trying yeah. to heal with Yao Yao really oh this is not going well I'm just completely on the defensive here uh. just run back and forth it'll be fine it's, it's okay it's okay it's okay Wide open. got any chickens on hand Do, can, can I bring out chickens Don't be scared! So cool to 
careful now. Oh yeah, that's right. I have food. Uh, no, I'm all out of chickens. But I have hash browns. There, there we go. There, there we go. That works. Speed of light. Oh, well, well, this is not good. I have, I have no tactics. I'm just or I have no strategy. I'm just I'm just running in and hitting him. That's all I got. A fine opportunity. Ow. A clear shot. Oh 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 oh. oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna eat more food. Uh. Another one for good measure. Oh, I'm full. Uh, oh, that's not good. <laughs> Oh, you're too far away. <laughs> Let me hit you. I'm just gonna keep yelling on you. Okay, Why now open. I run. I was not expecting a boss battle. Right, uh... Oh, I missed. I am not good at this. So quick to flee. Yeah, what's wrong with fleeing? Run oh. all you like. Ow. Ow. Cut to the chase. Celestial Voyager. Oh. Oh. oh no. You play. You're up. Nice and spicy. Try this. So quick to flee. Don't be scared. You're wide open. Try this. Speed of light. God, I didn't. I never saw it like from far away. Uh, right, nice run, you like. Wait, there's multiple phases. So what flee. do you mean phase one? I thought this would be it. Rain outlines your feet. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. You've got a trick or two. <laughs> Good. No wonder Samoa oh, was so wary of you. Well, that just means I can go all out. Oh, you piece Brace shit. yourself. This is about to get tough. Now, Wait, why, why show me what you can do against the might of a harbinger. Oh. Oh, my you. <laughs> Don't blink. Hey! Uh. With sword comes shadow. Did I miss? <laughs> I Ow. Speed of light. Huh? Oh. Got you. <laughs> Hold up. I got. I gotta uh, auto mod. Uh, auto mod. Uh, flag this comment. I gotta allow it. Uh, but also, I should. I should heal. Uh, I'm gonna heal. Yow yow. Uh, oh. Oh shit. Oh god. Damn it. Don't blink. <laughs> Sorry for the language, everybody, but uh. I, I am I am really going through it right now. What is that? Why why is there a, a flower setback. on me? Witness the power of Goa. Rain outlines your face. Oh no. Oh this is this is not going well. You gotta eat. You're a growing boy. You have to eat. So much is happening. I'm panicking. He's marked me. How do I how do I not be marked? Ugh. All you do is run. If I run into the wall. Something else catch your eye? Oh, 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 I see. Because there's like elements or whatever. Right? Oh, Not shit, good. Shit, shit. You oh, please heal me. Ow. Time to act. No use hiding back there. Body and mind. 
May my final stand be a monument to chivalry. Oh, oh, this is not good. Um, uh, let, let's let's go with this. Cause no, oh, man, yeah, I am hurting right now. Uh, I wish I had been in. Ow. Ow. All you do is run. Incoming. Oh, I'm Mark. I'm Mark. Oh. You've got there some go. skills. the game oh. not bad your swordsmanship is quite impressive but that's about oh, he, oh the mask that he get. wore on the side of his head now he's wearing the mask what the hell is even that oh what the oh wait is that Ning Wong <laughs> I didn't think you had that it? card hidden up your sleeve. Oh, that was us. Oh, we did that. Oh, quiet down. Exodia, Stop acting like some wide-eyed recruit. You've seen this world. You of all people should know. This should have been expected. Oh, are you bringing him back to life? Well then, I'll be taking more oh, you're taking now. Huh? <laughs> Well, this is most unexpected. It's already gone. You... You beat me to it, didn't you? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Oh, wait, what is this? You can use water? <laughs> Bruh, why? Hydro is his vision? Oh, yeah. Not bad. Oh, man. But now it's like a mech anime. This is going to cost you! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm asserting my dominance with my burps. Oh man, he's hurt me, child. But also, that's a really cool design. I wish I had like a figure of that. You but, got to the okay. nurses ahead of oh, me. Oh, no, you're you? not. Did you simply uh. move faster? Or did you leak the information regarding the golden house to me on purpose? Uh. 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 Hand the gnosis over uh. now. Don't make me take it from you. Oh, that hurt. take it? Again. Oh, I can't make it in time. Uh, Not good. Ow. Ow. Okay. You okay? Time, to, time to heal. Time, time to heal. Oh, I marked again. Where is he? Oh, Rain 
outlines your fate. Let me weave you a verse. Body and mind. It's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. Oh my god, it's bigger. Shatter. Nobody take my words out of context, please. No. Oh, what the fuck? Ow, that hit me anyway. Stay put! to revive anybody. Let's, let's see where to go. Um, can I use my death to kill that? Nope, nope. You no. You're up! Nope, nope. Yeah. Speed of light! Hey! No, my sword! Oh, oh this is so stressful! When will it end? Take. Oh, I think I'm too far from him to hurt him. Oh no, I got him. Ow. He got me too. I wish I had a better party for this. Oh my god. What the? Ow. Kill me, Yao Yao. Please, you're, you're my only hope. If it weren't for you. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Incoming. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. What did I ever do to you, man? I, I've, all I've done are like the tasks that you told me to do. Okay. 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 I'm marked. I'm marked. Uh, go, go, Buff. Kick his ass. Time to act. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay in the corner so that way when I get to mark I'll just stay in my happy little corner here. Oh. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Ow. Mark. Okay. Feet of light. Uh. Huh. 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 With sword from shadow. Okay. Don't blink! Ow. Ow. Yo, yo, help me. Oh. oh, here we go again. Oh, I'm sorry, Chad. I can't really pay attention to chat right now. I'm fighting for my life here. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll please you play. Coming. Nice and spicy. Ow, that, that hurts. Oh, I can use uh, her dendro ability now. Oh, shit. Don't be scared. Go get it, Eagle Glade. Okay, 
Oh yes, I healed everybody. You went. Oh yeah, I did it! I did it! Hooray! I hated every moment of that, but I also loved it. It was it was it was a love hate relationship. Yeah, fuck you, child. Look, child's back to normal again. You think you can beat me? Congratulations! congratulations. Thank you for the congratulations. congratulations. Yeah, if anything, I was just panicking the whole time. <clears throat> well then, time to cool off. Oh, thank you so much for the head pat. And thank you for the hydrate. Yeah, I need water after that. That's like, my palms are sweaty. It seems the burden of the foul legacy transformation. Oh, cat stretch. Was too thank great you. For my body. Celebratory I stretch. I like the opportunity to think this through. Oof. And now that I consider the matter more carefully, Oof. No you never had any chance of beating me to the gnosis. You had no connection to the gnosis, no matter where it had been taken. Yeah, dude, I don't even know what a gnosis is. That's what we've been trying to tell you. We didn't take it. The magical girl uh, transformation took too much out of him. Yeah, I, I want a transformation like that. That's really cool. I need that. Your show of ability today far surpasses that of Senora's initial Yo, assessment. Yo, I better get like at least a stack. thousand primo for that. Tell if not, me, then we riot. How could that be? Uh, because I'm gradually restoring my former power. You already know the answer, don't you? I can see it in oh, your yeah. eyes. Oh, that's right. That's what Senora took from Vendi. I thought she took his uh, vision. So she took his gnocchi. I see. Yeah, the delusion outfit. Is that what it's called? The delusion outfit? Yeah, that's a but really cool outfit. that is a secret you wish to keep, cool. I guess I'll just have to curb my curiosity. Oh, so we only get an achievement, that's it? We don't get any This battle has anything. already left me satisfied. The second one was the delusion? Oh, wait, then what was the third one? His foul legacy form? Yeah, I want that foul legacy form. That's cool. Maybe I should hire an artist to get me, like, a cat version of that for my model. It kind of, like... It's really frustrating that they kind of like bait you with it be like, oh, look at look at the cool shit that we designed. Oh, you want it? Not too bad. You can't have it. Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be called a friend. Even if our friendship yeah, can only rehab. be shown child in battle against one another. Pretty sure that's not the normal way to child make friends. Child needs like mandated core therapy. Foul, foul legacy child is endgame. I have the narwhal right next to me in plushy form. Wait, they they have a plushy form of the narwhal? Uh. Excuse me. I killed the Sierra model with traveler scarf. That'd be fun. Unfortunately, I could probably commission. I must an bring this to amiable conversation I, to an end. Like a 2D, My quest like, still beckons. Asset like artist. He lives for the thrill of battle. He reminds me of Azula, from like Avatar, but like. How unhinged he suddenly got. Wait until you read his lore. He needs copious amounts. Of From what I've heard, I feel like everybody in this game needs therapy. Like all the characters need therapy. Cause Chi Chi apparently has like really like sad lore. You'll come back to the novel later. That's all I say. Ooh. Given that the gnosis wasn't taken by anyone, then we must look once again to the beginning. Perhaps it was never in the Exuvia to begin with. I mean. Are we just gonna gloss over the fact that you're evil? In fact, it might be that the Exuvia was just a diversion of sorts. What? So you mean that... Rex Lapis still lives. Yes, it appears so. Interesting to say the least. You have two of the only happy characters in your party right now, Jiangling and Yaya. That's good enough for me. I like Jiangling, because like, Jiangling is just like a really good chef. She's, she's my Ratatouille. She's my Remy. Oh, he's not evil? Oh, I thought he was evil. It seems that the guardian deity of the capital of commerce oh, he clapped. is you also know what that well means. versed in little maneuvers beyond the boundaries of contracts. Congratulations! Congratulations! Oh, Congratulations. As such, we must now look to our backup plan. I mean, hey, I'm Grey Ace, so I can, like, kind of relate to that. Backup plan? I had hoped it would never come to this. 
for the These weak will be swept yet. away in this the process. Jeff Bezos of the Genshin universe. The truth is, the world belongs to those who pursue strength. I seldom willingly involve myself with the weak. Oh man, you, you know you, you sound. Uh, Unfortunately, we cannot be picky about our methods like every as fascist harbingers. ever, child. Children must all learn to eat their vegetables sometime. Yeah, Ace Gang. So what are you planning to do? I will awaken the god that lies dormant beneath Guyan's stone no forest. No soup. A god? Osayo, no for you. overlord of the Vortex, who was defeated by Morax, the G.R. Archon, in the Archon War, and who has remained pinned beneath the waves by the G.R. Archon's stone spears oh, hi, ever Saren. since. Oh, hi, Saren. Thanks for, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in. Yeah, we're playing more Genshin. Yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. Oh, hi, Venari. Oh, wow, we got a bunch of people coming in. Hello, everybody. If such an ancient god would be unleashed upon Liyue Harbor, defenseless without the protection of its deity, do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and watch the ensuing destruction? I don't know, dude. I don't even know who Rex Lapis is. Like, I just found out who he was, like, war ended two, two days ago. Years ago. How can an ancient god appear in a world now overseen by the Seven? Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. I guess it's divine terrorism hours. Hey! Those are sigils of permission! Hey! Cool it with those sigils of persimmons, man. Oh, They're dangerous. Paimon remembers now. The Fatui have been researching them. You don't you don't know how many dang persimmons this this uh this place can fit. You've been trying to duplicate Indeed. them. Indeed. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, Along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger by our Tsaritsa, breaking the subduing might of the Geoarchon the spears for a time should be no obstacle. I could go for some parsnips and radishes. My face when I threaten genocide just in case God is real. Using the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me. I'm sorry, and is what largely gaping? against my principles. Wait, what gapes? But knowing that such an action will not only oh. force the Geo Archon to show its hand, you but should, you as uh, well, try, uh, radish that kimchi. makes radish matters a little so more good. intriguing. Oh yeah, my model like will sometimes freak out like that. Cause like the mouth tracking is like super sensitive. Oh, what's happening? What the hell is happening? Child, what did you do? Oh, Kyogre? Bro, we, did we get a Pokemon? <laughs> Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Lyra, you're free to stay and enjoy the show. How is this morally gray? <laughs> this looks pure evil to me. This huh? seems straight up evil to he's, me. He's already gone. That guy is fast. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what's going on? I mean, it looks like the town's already kind of drowning. Like, the water is just like already like. Uh, overflowing onto land and it looks like people are just like their homes are just getting drowned already so I, i'd be surprised if they survived any of that unless they were like already evacuated it gets clearer in the future oh <sighs> oh do we have another boss fight if we hadn't happened to see the jade chamber flying over just as we came out of the golden house we really wouldn't have known which way to go Oh, another boss fight. Oh boy. Did we make Can't we at least be like supersonic Is the this time? Of the vortex still in the sea? It hasn't destroyed Leila yet, has it? I, I don't what? I don't know, man. It looks are like you doing oh, here? Oh, hi, hi, Zhao. Huh? Hold on. It's the adept guy. What are you doing on the jade chamber? Oh, hi, I everybody. thought you were oh, arguing old lady, with the hi. chasing. Is the fighting over? Yeah, it really is just like chaos from Sonic uh, Adventure, like uh, DX. 
Or so from, yeah, Sonic Adventure, uh, yeah, Sonic Adventure 1, yeah. Madame Ping looks so out of place. She's just a kind old lady with a magic teapot. Faced with a calamity of such magnitude, we have agreed to put our differences King aside for now and unite against this common enemy. Oh, we're about to see your favorite uh, cutscene with Shao soon. <laughs> Moon Carver. Oh, Paimon gets it. So how do you plan to defend Leela? Eh, just seeing this overlord of the Vortex guy puts a pit in Paimon's tummy. Even from all the way out here. Well, I mean, yeah, he's, he's right there. It's not just you. We've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shaking. First equal the force of an ancient cool. god's presence seems to be too much for ordinary people to handle. Which is oh. why we must stop that monster before it gets any closer to Liyu Harbor. Okay. So the Archon War was fought 2,000 years Fantastic ago cuts, against compass, enemies like that thing? Wait, what? That's scary. <laughs> You know, like everyone just like so watching this, waiting for the protagonist to like finish Lilith the conversation. And death okay, like, gathered here, be enough now that I have your attention, can God? you please take care of that thing, that giant water from behind us? It's like when fucking Aang took the avatar form, um, or not the avatar form, he took like the form of like the ocean spirit uh, in the northern water uh, uh, tribe. We've already discussed this together, and our conclusion is not necessarily. <laughs> our conclusion is we don't know. What? All of you are supposed to be the guardians of Lele. Could you think of something? One certainly could. Huh? The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their fancy. Oh yeah, we, we used that. And as fate would have it, one who did craft the Guizhong Ballista with oh, one's Zhongli. own hands is here. For what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Water dude just woke up, give him a minute, yeah. Yet, it would take one, but a little tinkering to turn this ballista into an engine of war beyond your wildest thoughts. <laughs> I suppose this is one blessing from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. Yeah, thank you. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong ballista to fight off that god. Now we can finally use it. All the Adepti it. here can lend their strength to man it. We can haven't I just, a like, moment teleport to spare. somewhere else? Our battle begins now. Can I just like teleport back to Mondstadt? Yep. Oh, whoa. That's how you use it. <gasps> the Fatui! They're attacking the Glacial Ballista! <coughs> oh. I see. I guess, I guess we're defending the, uh, the Guizhong Ballistas. The three Adepti are manning the Guizhong Ballista. Do not let the Fatui disturb their work. All able Millilith, with me! Let's go help you! We Adepti have not faced the god in several millennia. Well. Let one see what you are made of then. What strength remains within you? What wishes to witness? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Stop that. Stop doing that. Nowhere to hide.
Stop breaking my shit. Body and mind. Time to put this power to work. Rain outlines your fate. That is Osile's divine power. I am very familiar with it. Be careful not to get hit. Oh, <laughs> be careful not to get hit. Immediately gets hit. The Fatui! Their attacks are unrelenting! <laughs> How daring. Snezhnai's diplomats will answer for this afterward. Every last one. I will end you. This is not going well. This is very much not going well. to say we can't hold them, children? Don't lose heart. Here, take this. In the bunny hood. No, Paimon, this is too fast for you. We're barely sprinting. This is like a brisk jog. It's like a little light jog. You gotta go fast. I'm so fast, you can't even comprehend my speed. Uh, you can't catch me. You're too slow. Yeah, Paimon's literally floating, so speed should be an issue. You're strong in body and spirit. Yay! Perhaps you can withstand three forms of adeptal energy at once. I don't know what that means, but this oh yeah. Hurt Please bear with me. Once you've oh. adapted, try to use them in battle. Yeah, everybody eat a dick. <laughs> Kicking your asses. Shine. Body and mind. Body and My powers combined. My Captain Planet. Nowhere to hide. <laughs> God, leave my delicious alone. Ah, I'm frozen. I'm frozen. Speed of light. Oh, just so. Hey! Look at me. Just. Don't blink. Exercise caution. I fear that the gods. Its peak. Oh, so In much power. Words, if we hold here, there's nothing worse to come, right? Looks like I went too far. With sword comes shadow. Don't blink. Hey! There's more on that side. Head to the chase. Rain outlines your fate. Witness the power of Gugwa. Yeah, 
Okay, so they're just gonna keep coming out on rotation, okay? Stay put! Okay, okay. Move away! The Fatui's numbers are thinning! Fight on, comrades! Once we finish this lot off, the Adepti will be able to deal with the God in peace! Fifteen more seconds. We're doing it, y'all. We're doing it. Yay, we did it. Please tell me that was it. The interlopers are no more. Now we may commit ourselves fully. Oh, nice. Child, you lost. You suck, child. It's working! We just need to keep this up! <laughs> well, the deer and traveler is the same VA? Oh, that makes sense. Oh, what is that? Be Jack. careful now. The Guizhong Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no that matter was a what. Real one. He saved us. I have another idea. I have what an do you idea. mean, Lady Ningguang? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. What is the meaning of this? Sacrifice is what? Traveler, lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. You want to just, like, sacrifice herself? I don't understand what's happening. Oh, is she gonna drop... Oh, she's dropping the palace on me. She's gonna drop the gate. They did like the anime like sketch. I saw that. It was like a frame. They did like the anime like sketch before like the uh like before like the explosion. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You wrote your uh, philosophy dissertation on the sacrifice the Ning Wang makes. That's actually really cool. <laughs> we just immediately teleport. Is it finally over? Are we dead? The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. Yay! The effects of the sigil of permission last but a short time. It will be some time before the overlord of the vortex can make any waves again. Shouldn't we start preparing for when he does that again then? We are indebted to you for your assistance. If the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of Liyue Harbor would surely have been in great jeopardy. Save your flattery. We didn't just oh, happen alive. to okay. be here. So she surely sacrificed you won't building. pretend to have forgotten herself. the reason for which we came. Come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside part of her then limited income in preparation for building the Jade Chamber. Yeah, she did say that. She used all of her money. At first, it was only the size of a small room, but with continued expansion, it has become the palace that lies before you now. I mean, isn't she super rich now? So can't she just like build another one? It is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and as the backbone of the Liu Qi Sing. Wait, how old is Ningguang? Is she like also like thousands of years Seeing old? Seeing the Jade Chamber destroyed in the defense of Liu means much to her. 
To me, such cooperation and sacrifice deserves at least some recognition, don't you agree? Yes, she just sacrificed her whole home, no matter well, how unimpressive it was. I was really hoping you would say that such sacrifice could at least be used as some leverage in our negotiations. Oh, she's human? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for hearing me out. We no, know very oh, well okay, why cool. the Adepti came here today. But please forgive us. We cannot yield to your wishes. Oh? Oh? 3,700 years. According oh, to our so records, the, the Adepti signed a contract with Rex Lapis to protect Liyue 3,700 years ago. Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time, immovable as stone. Just as it was thousands of years before. Hmm. This is truly no small feat. No small feat indeed. But that does not mean that the Liyue of today is the same city as it was all those years ago. Well, thank you for the Bepis throw. Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land. Instead, focus your sights on our city and each of the citizens that dwell within it. Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? Now, okay. Hmm. I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see Liyue in a new light. Now, okay. Ha! <laughs> forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. This morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. What? In the dream, I yearn to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, are equally bound to the contract. Each passing generation of the Chi Sing leaves many things of value to be inherited by the next generation. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Chi Sing had strove under his rule to survive in our mortal world. Establishing a network of contracts which has since come to be known as trade. But I dared not speak. I could only gaze at him in silence until the moment I awoke. Hmm. Oh, Ningguang. We're all on the same side here. Yet another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? When there is discord between the Guardians and those they were meant to defend. Yeah, let's all hop on a Discord call. All the Guardians... And then, uh, let's hash us out. Let's hash us out. One of you can be the Discord mod, and we can, uh, we can work this out. Right! That's something that happened in Mondstadt. It's a story about the four <laughs> winds cap. and the people of the Animal Archon. Source? I heard it, I, it, it happened in a dream, so that means it has to be real. The Animal Archon sought to quell the strife between the two sides, because he believed that such conflict would only scar the hearts of both. And that nothing good would come of it. This is what we learned in the City of Freedom. Each of the seven nations has its own scars yeah, Rex from Lapis the past. Is the absent server owner. Though your point is the very height of simplicity. Rex Lapis is is like the server owner who had to come down and and nuke a server because the guardians were being too unruly. As Adepti, we've become a laughing stock. To be chastised thus by an outlander who has lent us such succor. Yeah, they're they're just insulting us. You know, I could cook you for dinner if I wanted. All right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should focus on the city and each of its citizens? I know I already have, so why not see for yourselves? Yeah, Madam Madam Ping is truly the best mod. Yeah. I apologize for appearing in full armor. I am afraid I cannot show the proper courtesies. I am for the two birds. What I can do is I can uh, cook them in like uh, like vegetable oil, so that way when the fat seeps out, I can just cook it in the fat, and then season it with salt, pepper, oregano, maybe some parsley, a little bit of butter. Uh, to keep like the the flavor intact and then I'll pan sear it and then I will roast it in the oven um, 
like with tomatoes, uh, maybe some russet potatoes. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much for the follow, Fat Rat. What? We have so many rats. We got Rat Gang here. Zhao is a bird too. I'll cook Zhao too. Oh, no, Zhao's cool. He saved me. I I'm not going to cook Zhao. But the, the other Adepti who are in their bird forms right now, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll cook them. And then what I can do with uh, Moon Carver is that I could make a lovely, like, uh, like smoked venison jerky out of him. And then for the rest, I'll grind him with some seasonings uh, and then put him into like a nice sausage casing after mixing in a buffalo sauce. So, so there, there's, there's my meals. That's how I'd prepare. And who are you? That's how I would prepare the uh, adept eye. Kangaroo jerky actually does sound pretty awesome. Deer jerky is also really good. Not this cat. This cat is a god. I trump the adept eye. I'm a full on cat god. I am Feng Yan, a sergeant <laughs> of the military. Let me cook. Let me I have come to extend my thanks to the adept eye. Chat, you're all invited to a lovely meal of guardian uh, sausage, jerky, and uh, chicken, or like guardian bird thighs, because they're not chicken. Have I had squirrel jerky? Um, I haven't had squirrel jerky, but I've had squirrel. I thought this battle would perhaps be my last, but thanks to the aid of the Adepti, our forces were not as badly battered I as I feared we might be. I can't attend. Uh, then in that case, sick fishy, I'll, I'll create like a menu with an ad. And I'll put a little quote that says at the bottom, I love Cloud Retainer. He's so delicious. I recommend this dish. Stick fishy. Although I am the a milk mere squirrel? mortal soldier. Oh, you mean milk steak? I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the illuminated Adepti this day. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I could make a good uh, venison milk steak out of Moon Carver. I'm sure, I'm sure you wouldn't mind. Huh? Why does everyone look so down? Didn't we just beat that big monster? How are you still alive? <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was One quite the predicament. One of the oldest predicament. recipes on record is basically just squirrel stew and milk. Oh, I didn't. I had no idea. That's actually really funny. I wasn't afraid. Cause squirrel. Don't the really have a lot of meat on them, so when I had it, it was like roasted. I also had like school stew, there. but Everyone no milk went into it. But it was pretty good. You can make like a hearty uh, stew if you have like a bunch of squirrel with potatoes, carrots, onions, and then uh, you essentially put that in like uh, kind of like a beef broth, or you can use a chicken broth if you want want like a lighter. Uh, but I like to like a he I like a heavier stew, um, so you can do that with like uh, like chopped up squirrel. And then you can like stew it like in a crock pot for like eight hours with like parsley, uh, oregano, thyme, and it's really good. Oh, I'm sorry, Andy. <laughs> when danger is near, everyone always protects me. And the Roasted rest school of the is time, also they good. make fun toys and tasty snacks and and loads of things that make the harbor so, so pretty. So I haven't had rabbit, um, but my wife really wants to try rabbit. And uh, the thing is that rabbit is like $35. Uh, so it's very much not, um, it's very much not affordable or it, it, depending on your like salary, like you could get it, but it's, it's, it doesn't justify the price because like also rabbit is very plentiful in this area. So if it's in season, you can hunt it, but to like go out of your way to buy it for $35, I think is, is just robbery. But I get it, because it, it's not Thanks something that people normally sell. Thanks for protecting me at Harbor. Please, come visit us for the next Lantern Rite. That one talking squirrel from the summer event sweating nervously. I, I'll eat it. If it's protein, I'll eat it. Except for that protein cereal. Unfortunately, that we wouldn't be able to That protein to cereal that I had earlier just tasted like straight up garbage. Huh? Like chocolate garbage. Because we are Adepti. That's the thing. It's like you can't have like a uh, keto, like high protein cereal and make it good. I've tried so many different kinds and they all suck. The only ones that I had that were actually pretty good was a Magic Spoon version of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And even then, like it's still not as good as Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, okay. Aww. You see, 
This they also is have like um, Magic Spoon like also today. has like a peanut butter like cereal that's actually pretty good too. The country Most of, them of contracts like is yeah. grateful to the Adepti for their protection. But yeah, it like, is I don't know what I'm gonna do with all the cereal that I have because I bought my parents, so luckily it wasn't too much money, but it's a waste. So what I might do is I'm like I might like grind it up like to like a powder and put it in like brownies to make like protein brownies. Or I might use like marshmallow uh, to make like uh, like a rice crispy marshmallow cluster with like the uh, the chocolate cereal that I made. Yeah, I could make cereal bars. It's just the cereal just has such a bad aftertaste. It's so cardboard ish. Oh, I'm sorry, Andy. Peanut allergies. Yeah. Although their blood is weak, there is still strength oh, man, to be like, found um, in those Peanut allergies are no mortals. joke. I um. Uh, I dated uh, this one girl in college who had a really bad peanut allergy to the point where like she, she just would not go to restaurants because she had a really bad uh, peanut aller allergic reaction, like flare up in a restaurant when she was like really young. So since then, like her anxiety prevented her from going to restaurants, like she would not eat anything that uh, was handled by anybody who wasn't herself or her like family because she couldn't have then if she goes to a restaurant, she can't see the process. So she doesn't believe that they didn't handle it with peanuts. Um, and it got to the point where like she would obsessively wash her hands to the point where her hands were completely super dried and scabbed So she had to wear gloves everywhere she went and I just felt so bad for her The time of contracts between gods and Lua has long since passed rice crispy cakes Now is the time rice of cakes. contracts between Lua and its people toast crunch marshmallow bars. That sounds so good. Yeah yeah, gluten is, yeah, gluten allergies. Seeing the like, port around us so now, it is hard not to feel a bit out of place. Like everything. Wouldn't you say so, and, cloud like, retainer? gluten-free alternatives taste like ass. I have to carry EpiPens and I've been caught out too. But poor thing, I, that kind of anxiety needs proper support. Yeah, for sure. Like, I, I really had hoped that she'd see a therapist, but she never had. And I hope she does see a therapist some someday. A small box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch is like $8.50 here. Ooh, I'm so sorry. It's like $8 here, which is still pretty expensive. Like, Your cereal has gotten ridiculously askew. expensive. One cereal should not cost had as much as it does. To Like, Harbor. even like a regular box of cereal will be like $5 minimum. And that's so dumb. Like, I normally get them on clearance. Hmm. Seems like the Adepti have had a change of heart. They've listened to what the people have said. That's because I threatened to cook them, so they changed their mind. Let us return now. Eager to leave, Conqueror of Demons. Oh, that's cool. Shao's known as Conqueror of Demons. <laughs> yes, one understands what the Conqueror of Demons means. The city of Liyue has changed much after our I long separation. I don't know separation. what Conqueror of Demons means. Please elaborate. I guess you cook them in Cloud Retainer's big cooking advice. Yeah, I'll do it. That would be big enough to cook them all at once. One fears that by the time one finally grasps I'll the new contracts I'll make a big enough stew to Liyue, feed the whole city. You humans would have once again changed the place beyond recognition. Okay, but you have to realize that change isn't always a bad thing. Sometimes change needs to happen to make way for the new generation. You're, you're such a traditionalist. Fair enough. Away we shall, and return whence we came. Yeah, and don't come back, or else... I'll be here with my walk and with my spatula. Meow. Oh, Scott, thank you so much for the raid. Really appreciate it. Oh, bye, Latte. I hope you. Uh, I hope you have a, a nice trip um, on the bus, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And hello, Street. Uh, hello, Raiders. Uh, thank you for joining in. Um, if you are not familiar with me, I am uh, a Tuxedo Cat uh, August. I like to play video games, and uh, my goal is to provide a uh, <sighs> safe space and a community of support for those dealing with uh, mental health issues, uh, also specifically generational trauma and uh, trauma from domestic violence, because that is something that uh, I relate to. It is something that I experienced growing up, so it is something that I want to build a community of support for while also having fun playing video games. Uh, so if that is something that you are interested in, uh, please feel free to give me a follow if you want to check out more of my streams. I also have a Discord server if you're interested. And starting Monday, we'll be doing a week-long charity stream for Care for Gaza. So that way we could uh, help provide uh, money 
uh, to this nonprofit organization who is uh, running food and uh, hygiene products and necessities to displaced families in Palestine uh, during the uh, while the war is going on. So it'll help a lot of people in need, and uh, yeah, Since and we it'll go to a, a really good cause, and we'll then one set up a lot of like fun no and stuff. Further. So uh, yeah, uh, I hope you all. Uh, enjoy but how will we ensure that the Leo Chiefs will not simply well, Scarlet, exploit their power once uh, we let me depart? Go ahead and give you a shout out as well. In my view, that is still a thing to be guarded against. <laughs> All right, Moon Carver, you Madden need King worry. really is a real one. She's it like to me nonstop right and like mediating all these like arguments the every time they Lua. arise. She's more than just a magic teapot. She has so much wisdom <sighs> and compassion. Looks like the conflict between humans and a dip guy was avoided. All swirl that ends well. Yeah, huh? she's she's a true mod. She's like she's like. She's like the Adepti of mods. The Adepti were quite reasonable in the end. Oh, right! It's nice that we've got peace and all, but we're forgetting one thing. No problem, Scarlet. Thank you so much for the raid, and uh, I hope you uh, have a wonderful, uh, you know, snacks or dinner. And uh, yeah, I hope you get plenty of rest as well um, today. Child wanted and to unleash the god so he could lure Rex Lapis out. But we were able to handle the Overlord of the Vortex on our own. So Rex Lapis never showed up. Indeed. Oh, and speaking of that, don't we still need to get to the bottom of that Archon's death, too? Well, I mean, he didn't actually die, right? It was, it was just some kind of conspiracy, so I mean, should we... Oh, no problem, it. Andy. I hope you have a wonderful day or evening. But isn't the strongest lead uh, we have the Adeptilus Rite of Parting that we're organizing? Uh. Excuse me. No idea where Zhang Li's gone. Let's ask for him at Wang Shen Funeral Parlor. Oh yeah, we haven't seen Zhang Li at all. Her death giant name is Street War Rambler. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, looks like we have an ad starting in a little bit. So let's see, where where is Zhang Li? So he's. We can just teleport here. Get a little bit closer to him. Alright, uh, let's see. Yep, now we got the golden trail that uh, leads us to him. Leads all the way over there. Oh, you're so pretty. You got such a beautiful white coat. Oh, and you have such blue eyes. Oh my god, I wish I could pet you so bad. Follow the yellow brick road. Is there anything I can do for you too? Oh, you can I'm capture her later on. Oh, parlor that's so isn't cool. in the best state to receive guests. Oh, okay, what about Zhang Li? We've come to see Zhang Li. Could you please tell him we're here? Unfortunately, Zhang Li isn't here at the moment. It seems he went to oh, Northland Did Bank. he go to confront a uh, child? She looks just like my baby cat. Oh, that's adorable. Doesn't that's right. the Northland oh. Bank belong to the Fatui? Such pretty babies. Last time we saw Zhang Li was before we went to the Golden House. Mm -hmm. Do you think he doesn't know about the attack on Liu? How would he this not the know? At a time like, like the this entire can city only was underwater. I'd be surprised if Zhang Li did not know. We had like, better Zhongli go and make sure that know. everything is okay. Yeah, let's go uh, check on Zhang Li. <laughs> like, he had to have known. <laughs> the key here is consumer psychology. Yeah, we could probably cash in that achievement now. All that work for five primos. Okay, how many primos are we at now? We got 299. We can redeem one of them. Harumph. 
All right, we got 18 intertwined fades, so we'll save that for the next ban. I do want Zhao, but um, we the poll has spoken, and the poll has said to wait for Albedo. Oh, also, for those who aren't in the know yet, uh, Salix has a reveal for her new uh, model on March 14th, which I believe is Thursday. So, um, uh, I'll be tuning in for a bit of that. I also recommend if you know if you feel so inclined to uh, check it out as well. And with that, and yeah, uh, because I know we'll be streaming Thursday as part of the charity stream too. But I'm gonna try to uh, tune into her stream to show her support for uh, her new model reveal um, before uh, we stream on Thursday. You call this cooperation between Harbingers? Cooperation involves communication, you know. <laughs> Don't take it to oh, heart, senora. child. Besides, aren't you happy that you got to skip she the formalities really cool and like bring the chaos from, like, to the to land? It's so cool. I'm sure you must have enjoyed that. Oh, it seems that some of your friends have arrived. Hey, it's Zhang Li and Child. And you, you're also one of the Harbingers? This is such a weird camera angle. <laughs> it's you two. I believe we've met once before. In the city of Bards, was it? I'm glad yeah. you still remember my name. How could I forget? Ah, right. I imagine that it must have been rather hard to forget watching helplessly as something precious was snatched away from your friend. Just fix Well, her. if it isn't you two, this is our first time seeing each other since Liyue was nearly wiped off the map. This is certainly a bit... Awkward, wouldn't you say? Yeah, you're still alive. Hmm. Paimon knew that we should never have trusted a Fatui Harbinger. Oh, now don't say that. Sure, I may have misled you, but I never had anything against you personally. Oh, is Ben playing D&D &D tonight? Does, does anybody know if he's playing D&D &D right now? Besides, I thought we were getting along quite well together, didn't you? Except for that little tussle we had at the end. <laughs> yep, all, okay, we, we might raid to them, um, like, after we finish the stream. I'll probably go for, like, another hour or two, and then, uh, Nothing we'll personal. Raid them. We just have different views, that's all. Of course, you may very well hold this against me, but that's up to you. The real deceivers here are Senora and Zhang Li. Curse them for leading me on. Zhang Li tricked you? Senora and Zhang Li? Senora and Zhang Li. So actually, together? I think. Stop wasting time, child. There'll be plenty of time to the chat. The camera have really been here. focusing on our cleavage. It's really odd. You remember the agreement, Morax. Now, if you would be so kind. The Gnosis, please. Gnosis? What in the world are you talking about? I don't have the Gnosis. <sighs> Oh, Zhang Li has The contract it. is fulfilled. That which thou seeketh is now bestowed unto thee. For my promise is solid as stone. Okay, so you're a freeloader and a thief. And a double crosser. Zhang Li is Morax? I thought Rex Lapis was Morax. <sighs> How sanctimonious. Oh, he is. Okay, so. Uh, Morax is Rex Lapis, so he is Zhang Li. What? Okay. So you're the Lord of Chia? It's kind of funny because I said earlier it'd be really cool if Zhang Li could turn into a dragon because he looks like a dragon. A and yeah. Yeah, fuck you, Zhang Li. No, wait. That's an exciting twist and all, but why give the Gnosis to the Fatui? I do not give it for free. I give it as agreed upon in the contract, for it is a matter solely between the Tsaritsa and I. And why did you feign your death? Yeah, you don't think you went a little bit too far with that whole fake death thing? Everyone was preparing the ceremony for you, and splat! This big dragon falls out of the sky, <laughs> That's fair. and all of Lyric yeah. goes into an I uproar. figured it out, but not Talk really. about a disaster. <laughs> Yeah. 
Gathering all the forces that had been bubbling behind the scenes, and then stirring them together in a pot that was bound to boil over. That's what he wanted to see, am I right? Yeah. Wait, what? Perhaps it's best that I explain. Man, your two hair buns look like roses. What's going on there? As you know, oh, no I've dwelt Ozzy. upon this world night. for more than 6,000 years. It is now 3,700 really years ago that I founded Liyue together with the Adepti. Even boulders that can withstand whirlpools will erode with the passing of time. I kept convincing myself that cracks had not begun to form and that the end of my time had not yet come. So you, you want to retire, is that what you're saying? Until one drizzly day, as I was strolling along the harbor, I heard a merchant tell one of his workers, you finished your duties. Go ahead and call it a day. I stood motionless among the crowds, asking myself, have I already finished my duties? I don't know, dude. <laughs> you said duties. But as I began to consider relinquishing my divine role, I soon discovered that many reasons still remain to not hastily depart. Well, that's not surprising, because, like, I mean, I guess as a god, but, I mean, he's been among the humans for so long, right? Was Liyue, the city I had dwelt in for so long, already prepared to now, enter its next man. age? I decided that a test was needed, in order to reveal the answer. So I feigned my own death and gathered the cast of Child, the Adepti, and the Liyue Chising to play their roles together on the stage that was Liyue. So were you satisfied with the finale? Indeed I was. Oh, he's in his the Gnosis, era. which I had oh. kept for so many years, suddenly yep. seemed he's to have to lost retire. its meaning. That's right. Which is why I continued to safeguard the Gnosis until now. Uh -huh. So you mean that if the chaos ever reached the point of no return, you would simply appear and use your divine powers to bring Leela back under control? Of course, mm. and it would have been all too easy for him too. Just as a child quickly matures after losing their parents, so has Liyu matured when faced with the death of its deity. Yeah, they're fine. They, they, In the they end. Don't need him. The resolution to all that has transpired was even more satisfactory than I could have hoped for. So this was an all just an elaborate plan for him to retire? He just, he just didn't want the city to rely on him anymore? Take the Adepti, for instance. Owing to their years of seclusion, they were the least informed. Yet when faced with a crisis, they commendably showed the greatest amount of restraint possible. Not only did they manage to cooperate with the Chising, but in the end, couldn't he have just they told this like, to town, understand like, hey, I'm gonna retire, um, just do your own thing, you'll be fine. Credit Figure is also due to Signora, the emissary dispatched by the Cryo Archon to fulfill our contract. At my request, she kept everything she knew in strict confidence. This despite the eavesdropping ears of her colleague, Child. Hmm. This meant I could remain as Zhongli. Even having the chance to fulfill the age-old traditions of Liu in this mortal form. Thank you for joining me on this journey, Traveler. All of these things turned out as I had planned. Huh. There is only one thing that I had not anticipated. And that was the conduct of the Liu Chisi. Was the one thing you not anticipated being that you didn't have any money to pay me back for all the shit that I bought for you? I had expected them to do no more than the Adepti, to come to the defense well, of Liyue. technically Child paid for that, so... But when all was said and done... Be paying back Child. They seized the opportunity to supplant Liyue as divine protectors, and used the subsequent power vacuum left by my death to quickly gain complete control of Liyue. Huh? That doesn't sound good at all! I just still think of you as a fancy hobo. <laughs> On the contrary, I think it is excellent. I had always feared that it was too soon for them to take over from me. And it was also that which I longed for the most. Jolie can make As more such, with the Gnosis, so he's not this is the best anyone. parting gift anyone could have given this god of old. 
That's pretty convenient for him. Hey, what about me? Doesn't anyone feel the least bit of remorse for deceiving me? You've practically kept me in the dark. Nah, no, go fuck yourself, dude. <laughs> I Not think really. that thanks would be more appropriate. You certainly played no small part in all of yeah, this. Yeah, he's the god of money. Wreaking he havoc have any money. and turning the city upside down. The Lord of Geo ought to thank you for your performance, if anything. If you hadn't created the pressure of a battle between mortals, a Depti, and a god, the lump of coal resting in the hands of the Geo Archon, Liyue, would never have been able to become a dazzling diamond okay, of the Okay, so he wasn't, he didn't, what he did wasn't actually evil because it was all under control. But I mean, in his mind, it was evil. Because, like, he wasn't in on this, so he he was fully ready to destroy Liyue. So, I, I, huh? I don't know. Just whose side are you on, mocking like, Just me because like he that. was ignorant are of, you itching like, for a fight? that nobody was actually in any danger, he actually tried to put people in danger. We were both Be that fighting. as it may, you've come out of this as the hero of Liyue. I, he says on the in other the fight hand, that he doesn't like will be forever people, prescribed but he did as a anyway. disturber of the peace, no? <laughs> well then, with the gnosis in my possession, I have no use for such yeah, idle chatter. I'm pretty sure, like, I'll find out more later on. We should return to Zapoliarni Palace and seek an for audience now, with Her Majesty. My trust Sorry, is broken, sir. child. Come, child. How will, my, how will my heart recover from this? There's nothing you can do or say that'll that'll repair the wounds in my heart. After playing his story quest, I changed my mind about him. Yeah, I'll have to play his story quest. Ah, fine. I'll meet you there later. I'm not sharing a boat with the likes of you. It also says you can drown along with the people of Liyue, which was kind of cringe. Yeah, that was pretty, like, incel -y of him. <laughs> Do as you wish. Kind of cringe, dude. Now then. Is there anything else you wish to ask me? He's a traveler simp? Oh. What could possibly be worth a gnosis? That's what I right. want to know. Right! As Zhang Li always told us, a good trade is a fair trade. Paimon has no idea what could be a good trade for a gnosis. Would it be retirement? Realistically speaking, there is no such thing. There's no such thing as a fair trade? Huh? He's like that one coworker who you hate talking to. Zhang Li, yeah. Oh, However, child or Zhang Li? I am the god of contracts. For thousands of years, I have made countless contracts. If the deal was of no benefit, then I certainly would not be inclined to agree to it. Both? Yeah, that's fair. My agreement with the Cryo Archon will be the last of my contracts as the Geo Archon. My. Contract to end all contracts. Man, you went through like a whole big plan to retire, man. As for the bargaining chip that the Tsaritsa used to balance the scales, uncover that answer for yourself in your future journeys. Okay, so you're just not gonna tell me. Talent-wise, we still don't know what it was even now. Yeah. Oh, like he still hasn't revealed it. Oh, that's got to be annoying. It's like, what does he get out of all of this? Well, I have a lot of this. What is this? Whopper flower nectar. Oh, I have a lot of whopper flower nectar. Oh, it's an endgame thing. Okay, that. So they're playing long haul, long haul. I respect that. Where are you at talent wise? Okay, I don't have any of that. I don't have any of that either. What about you? Where, where, where are you at? Okay, I need a section phase three, so what level is he? He's level 50 now. I'm all for work life. We have to wait a few more years to find that out. Oh, wow, yeah, they're really playing the long game. I'm so normal about war. Balance, but I think this is pushing it. Okay, 
let's see. So you, why don't you ascend? We'll, we'll, we'll go do this. Ten year roadmap. Yeah, that's that's commitment to their writing. Wait, are all my characters healed up? Wait, what what was that? What just happened? Was I not Today's supposed the to day of the right of parting? Although the star of the show is fake, we spent Oh, that's so funny. Much it just it just won't let me teleport out of the city. Okay, I guess we got to do this. Trying to organize it. It would be a real shame not to go there now. That's actually hilarious. They won't let me leave Leo away. So are we like pretty close to the end of the uh, Leo way like uh, like Archon quest here then? Or do we still have quite a bit to go? Oh cool, we're almost done? Nice. And then I guess from there we move on to Sumeru. Oh, Inazuma is next? Nice. I, I do want to see what Inazuma looks like. You know that god what? from the ocean couldn't have just shown up out of nowhere. I mean, it's been 2,000 years since Rex Lapis subdued it. Yes, and to think that this happened right on the heels of the incident with Rex Lapis, too. Uh -huh. Say, do you think the person who assassinated our lord and released that evil god might have been one and the same? Girl. Yeah, I'm really excited to see Inazuma. Like, I know it's going to be a pain, but at least I get to see a beautiful uh, town. Now that you mentioned it, that's very possible. Yes, it's very, very possible, possible indeed. indeed. Yes, very possible. I mean, it all fits together. That person must have colluded with the evil god to harm Rex Lapis. Oh, that wicked, black-hearted scoundrel. Yeah, what a scoundrel. Still, what sort of supernatural prowess must this person possess to be able to do such things? I have never heard of such a person in all my yeah, years. Yeah, I'm really excited to see the scenery, because um, I was told that it's based off Japan, so I really want to see it. Ah, uh, forget it. Guessing's no use to us. It'd be Look, cool if they had the like Millilith over there like looks like he's Korea about to make based, an announcement. Um, Let's hear what the Ministry of Civil Affairs has to but say first. The thing is, like, with Korean architecture, it's so based off of other, like, cultures because, like, Korea was used as, like, a strategic military point by, like, so many different countries in Asia. So, like, a lot of it is just influenced by, like, Japanese, Chinese, you know, uh, like, architecture. It's just, a, it's just. I don't want to say it's completely derivative, but a lot of it is derivative. Oh, well, since we're going through with this rite of parting, I, I guess it means that those rumors hit the nail like on the head. My characters. That's fair. That's probably what I'm going to have to do, too. So Rex Lapis is really... Oh, welcome back, Clay. <sighs> but they didn't catch the culprit, did they? Oh, no. Welcome back, Scrub. Oh, come on. Do you think that the assassin could have been a normal person? You know what I think. I don't think any of the gossip on the streets you hear from those shady types is worth anything. There's only one real possibility in my mind. I've heard that the assassin was that Fatui fellow. Youngish, pretty high in rank. I think they called him Child. Oh, so so Child's gonna be blamed for it. Fatui? Hmm. They certainly are very suspicious. Who knows what those greedy, crooked folks... Shh! Lower your voice. If the Fatui catch you in their sights, Rex Lapis won't be around to protect you this time. Oh, well, now they have a common enemy. Listen to the Millilith, Millilith announcement. Huh. Hear ye all, the Chi Sing's words. Though a dragon soars ageless as the mountains, it too must return to dust. This is common knowledge. Is it? Gods and Adepti live glorious lives, but both light and shadow have their season. So too must they face divinely appointed trials. 
Uh -huh. Rumors and hearsay abound on the streets that Rex Lapis was murdered. Now, let the truth be revealed. What is the truth? Having been thwarted in his trial, Rex Lapis's soul has recouped the celestial heights. Hmm. He beseeches the people of Lyra to grieve not and to let not their hearts be saddened. Nor are they to believe street-born rumors or indulge in baseless speculation. Can I do the chasm quest after this? What's the chasm quest? Uh, Wait, so was um, Ningguang's dream I'm of Rex Lapis then just bullshit? Or, the or did Rex said. Lapis actually appear to her in her dreams to like trick her and like be like, hey, like, uh, I'm still, I, I have, tr my soul has transcended back into the heavens, but you have proved that you can take care of the city without me. So I now pass on to you. They said that Rex Lapis wasn't murdered. They said that Rex Lapis died because of the divine. <sighs> so that's how they're spinning it. So like, I wonder, did like, was that part of Zhang's plan as well wrong. to like, kind of trick Why did they suddenly give up looking for the murderer? Not to mention how this excuse sounds like something they just made up on the spot. Yeah. Could the Chi Sing already have known that Rex Lapis wasn't dead? But Zhang Li said that neither they nor the Adepti knew anything. Yeah. So they didn't hmm. know anything. Did Zhang Li tell them in secret after his gnosis changed hands? That's possible. Exactly, right? Ooh, seems like the rite of farting has been going on for a while now. Let's go have a look. Sure, yeah, about as well. We're the ones who did all the legwork to get all that shit together. Might as well see, like, what came of it. Look, it's Ningguang and Kuching. Are they saying something? Are their speeches over? I mean, they're just standing there. As said previously, oh, Rex Lapis's soul returning to the heavens is the end of the contract. And it is also the end of an era. Yep. 3,700 years of contracts burnt and reduced to ash. I want to say that. They're not, they're not burnt and reduced to ash. We, the people of Liyue, were indeed prosperous. But blinded by our prosperity, we forgot that time can be pitiless. The long, unending dream of our Archon walking among us. Oh no, it's it's like the it's, it's like in a horror film when you think that everything is fine and then you see like the villain come back in the background. Hmm. Now that we have awoken from our dream, we must learn to say I don't farewell. Oh man, I think Ying Ear killed Rex Lapis. She's she's pretty suspicious. Will you stand with us as we reestablish our contracts? As we build a new age of prosperity. Yeah. I need to scrub my brain after the like quest that we went through with her. So concludes the words of Her Eminence the Tianquan. Does Her Eminence the Yuhang have anything to add? Huh? Is she looking this way? Traveler. Yikes! She really is looking our way! Yeah, what do you want? Is that the traveler who they say defeated the ancient god? So know. young. The Liyue Qixing always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far and our reach is long. That's, that's creepy. Name your price. You deserve that much. I'll take Whoa. all your money. This part makes you sad. Oh, uh, what's gonna happen? Well... Could you help me put up some missing person posters? Oh. We got lines. We got voice lines. That was it? No money? I want... I, give me primos. I want primos. I mean, it's fine, but like... Money, please. Money, please. Come on, enough procrastination. I want money. Pay me. Pay me for all the work that I did. Roping you in was possibly the most masterful move we could have made. I believe that future generations will say so too when our deeds come up for their review. Yeah, but like, 
it's still a burden on me because you wrote me into something that I didn't really have anything to do with. Talk to people taking The cleanup of the it. premises, managing the crowds as they exit, making an account of the right? There's much that remains to be done. I didn't miss anything, did I? I don't know. <laughs> Why you? Were you just trying to look cool earlier, or are you really that selfless? I was trying to look cool. If you were looking money. for someone, you could have just told me that in private. I completely forgot that we're looking for our sisters. I forgot that that's like the main plot. Because we got caught up in so many different subplots. Oh, is that Zhong Li? There you are. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Right, what do you have to say for yourself, hey, Mr. Dragon? Look at this. Everyone in Liu is caught up in their emotions, thinking that they'll never see Rex Lapis again. And here you are looking all relaxed. You think that they would catch on, right? Like if he just never ages? <laughs> or do they just think like Why would I not feel yeah. more at ease after laying down the burden I have borne for 3,700 years? Right. If the two of you can spare oh, no the problem. time. Good night, sick fishy. Thank you for uh, treat you to sticking a around. Meal really appreciate at it. The I hope you have kiosk. a wonderful night and get plenty of rest. Ha! That sounds like big talk, Zhang Li. Paimon might have believed you if you were treating us to some third round knockout, but you'd have to pay out your nose just to stand inside Xinyue kiosk. Are you sure you can afford it? Man, do you even have any money right hmm. now? You're right. I do like the Mora. Yeah, you've been this in, you've been this way the entire time. But why would Morax like Mora? Because he broke. As the Rex Lapis Morax, I can easily create Mora. But since I have chosen to walk this earth as the mortal Zhong Li, I should abide by the same rules that mortals do. Yep, that's right. You gotta work for it. When I was journeying with you. Though I still had the Gnosis in hand, I knew that I must soon retire from my role as an Archon. So I had to... rehearse a little for my new life. Yeah. Exactly, Scrub Zhongli. I forgot. Oh, no I wonder. forgot I needed money. Paimon gets it now. You didn't look at the price tags when we were spending because you've never had to. But since also you weren't you used to not being able to just make more Mora as and when you wanted to, you had to try becoming a parasite to society who lives off of other people's credit. Yeah, you're a moocher. Well, we were only spending Fatui money. You don't have to say it like that. Yeah, but you wanted me to spend my own In money. In the city of commerce, we do not merely exchange money or goods. We also exchange knowledge. Memories and foresight, as well as positions, roles, and lives. The Archon Morax could never experience life as the true mortal Zhong Li could, no matter how many times he descended to be with his people. <laughs> I must thank you for that. I will treasure the memories that I made as Zhong Li, traveling the streets of Liyue with you. Okay, so I provided you with. Memories to treasure. What are you going to provide me with? Like, what's my payment? That is true. But there is no journey that does not end. No meetings without partings. Mm hmm. Hmm. Paimon thinks that we should make a move and continue our search for the seven. Sure. I fear that continuing your journey may be difficult. Alright, so we found two of the seven. The nation that neighbors Liyue by sea in Azuma is presently closed. Who's the god who rules the Electro Azuma? Archon Ball. Oh, Electro. And just as the people of Liyue preferred to call me Rex Lapis, she too goes by another name among locals in Inazuma. That's actually really funny because in D&D &D, there's a god named Ball. And Ball, um, if I remember correctly, was uh, one of, I, I think, because like, it's also like in Baldur's Gate 3 as well uh, with the lore. Uh, but it pretty much like Ball is one of like the three humans, I believe, who ascended from being human to godhood. And Ball uh, is the god of like death and blood and murder um, and torture. So it's kind of funny hearing that name. <laughs> um, Paimon thinks we've heard that one before. 
Uh, Ry Raiden? The God of Thunder? That is the case. And since Raiden is also the Shogun of Inazuma, people call her the Raiden Shogun. Oh, that's badass. The Inazuma Shogunate. That said, though people at the wharf were saying that the situation in Inazuma is very tense, Paimon doesn't remember that always being the case. It wasn't that bad last year. Yeah. Zhongli, since you're Rex Lapis, shouldn't you know something about what's happening there? Just how did Inazuma become a closed nation? It's because of visions. Visions? Visions? When faced with circumstances beyond their control, humans often bemoan their lack of power. But if a person shows true strength of will at a desperate and fateful moment in their life, the gods will look upon them with favor. This is what visions are. Magical foci bestowed upon those who have been acknowledged by the gods. Isn't that what Venti said as well when uh, he was like explaining what visions were? Uh-huh. That's how people in Tibet see it. But starting from last year, the Raiden Shogun began promulgating the Vision Hunt Decree. Vision Hunt Decree? Yes. It was an order to seize all visions within Inazuma's borders, and to inlay them upon the hands of the statue of the Omnipresent God. They want to seize visions? But why? Aren't visions blessings from the gods? I should think that in the Raiden Shogun's eyes, it is precisely because they are divine blessings that they should be under the sole dominion of divinity. Huh. Whoa, that's harsh. The Animo Archon is the god of freedom, and the Geo Archon is the god of contracts. For her part, the Raiden Shogun is the god of eternity. Huh. It seems as though she has finally decided to eliminate any unstable elements that could pose a threat to her eternal realm. So she's gotten paranoid then. The fact that even I, the oldest of the seven, have now passed away will only strengthen her resolve to pursue <laughs> That's eternity. Right. You, didn't, you didn't tell any of the other, other gods what you were planning to do. Knowing her, she must have again quoted that adage she is most fond of when proclaiming that decree to her people. Seven ideals for seven gods. And of these, eternity is nearest unto the heavenly principles. Heavenly principles. All right, then. Was there anything else you wished to know? So about the trial. <laughs> ah, that was a good one. Failing a divine trial. How they came up with that excuse, I will never know. Okay, so you didn't tell Ying Wang to say that? That said, the reason why the Chi Sing were so eager to resolve the incident and stop pursuing the culprit was indeed because they received news in secret that Rex Lapis was not dead. Okay, so they did know, okay. I hinted as much to the Adepti as well. How did I accomplish that, you ask? Hmm. Uh, have you ever heard of this particularly convenient Adepti art known as gifting dreams and visions? Okay, so you're about to explain All how right, you then. had that dream. Was there anything else you wish to know? What about child? Yeah, about what happened that. Before the Cheesing made their announcement, we listened to a lot of people talking on the way. Most of them put the blame for everything on Child. Mm -hmm. These are indeed false accusations. But it remains undeniably true that Child did send people to the Jade Chamber to prevent the Adepti and the Cheesing from defeating the ancient god. Yeah. I've heard that Ningguang is busy milking that for all it's worth on the foreign relations front at the moment. Browbeating the envoys of the Fatui. Plan in their dreams. Oh wow! Yeah. Ha! <sighs> Those poor Snezhnyan diplomats. If it were not for Child's exalted position as a harbinger, I'm certain that they would have shifted all the blame to him and called for his dismissal by yeah, now. Yeah, he's pretty much like the scapegoat. All right then. Was there anything else you wish to know? Child really got like the short end of the stick on that deal. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liu Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liu? Kuching is absolutely right in saying this. Now, though I did laud Ningguang's desire for power, believing this to be a good thing, 
and thought as a matter of course that she must have been behind the Chi-Sing's plan to take governing power over Liyue from the hands of the gods in Adepti. I see. Could the original person who brought up the idea of seizing power have been... Hmm. All right, then. Yeah, I don't Was know. Was there anything else you wish to know? As for the Liyue Qi. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Liyue Qixing. Kuching is absolutely right in saying this. Now, though I did laud Ningguang's desire for power, believing this to be a good thing, and thought as a matter of course that she must have been behind the Qixing's plan to take governing power over Liyue from the hands of the gods in Adepti. Could the original person who brought up the idea... Oh, yeah, All right, we, then. Okay, I did, yeah. Was I there anything was else child. you wished to know? No, about Mora. That's right. Zhongli, now that you don't have your Gnosis, what's going to happen to all the Mora into that? I mean, that's the circulation of commerce. They Since gotta keep Morax is around. dead, are they all just going to disappear? Also, isn't the Golden House the only mint in the entire continent? Will it even continue to work? The Mora present now will not vanish. But the Golden House will indeed have to cease operations for a lengthy period of time. Since creating Mora requires the use of the Geo Archon's power. Why don't they just start a new currency? One that doesn't require uh, Mora from <laughs> the Geo Archon's power. We're all about to run out of Mora! The world is coming to an end! We'll be fine. Yes, this is indeed a major issue from a financial standpoint. Uh, well, I suppose we'll just leave such troublesome matters to the Liyue Chising to debate. Then, did you at least set some private funds aside for yourself? Oh, a private fund. Hmm. This does seem like you a good logical through, common dude. sense idea. You, you had this whole elaborate plan for retirement, but you haven't even thought about what you're going to do after you actually start the retirement? <sighs> it's a shame. What's a shame? It's a shame that I didn't think of it at the time. Yeah, like, why didn't you? All right, then. Was there anything else you wish to know? Nope, there's well, nothing Well, then. I suppose you'll have to find a way to get inside this closed nation. Have patience. I suspect that some serendipity must first come into play. Okay. Well, I guess we are just very lucky. Yay! Quest completed! Act 3 completed. New star approaches. All that for 30 Mora. Or not Mora, 30 Primos. 35. Let's see, where am I at now? Can I redeem another? Yeah, I can redeem another Primo. Or another uh, intertwined fate. There we go. Now we're at 19, I think. Yeah, 19. So we're, we're getting there. We, we, we got enough, or, uh, or we're getting a good amount for when we're going to do all these polls on the next banner. And I'll do that on stream, so that way we can all either celebrate or cry together. Um, and let's, let's see my character is going to level up Jiang Ling. Oh, 55. Let's see, what do I need to enhance? Okay, so I need Relic for Guyan, so I need to do the Domain on Sunday. You lost your 50-50 last time, so you're guaranteed this time. Oh, so that carries over from banner to banner? Like, that's not just for Jack? Huh? Okay, so yeah, where do I go to make... Uh, where do I go to make Miss Veiled Gold Elixir? Because I went to the uh, crafting table and I, I couldn't make it. Let's go to the crafting table. Uh, down here. Memory of a movable crystal. Oh, a lot of wolf quests down here. Not on weapon banner? Okay, cool, yeah. I'm not too concerned about weapon banner right now. I will be in the future, but for now, uh, I just I just want to pull um, more characters, test out. I really want to pull Bennett. That's who I want. 
Because I need to replace Yao Yao with a better healer. Oh yeah, that's right. We talked about it earlier. I have to be AR-35. Sorry, I forgot. Um, let's see. So Sunday, I'll be doing that domain then. Um, can I level up her talents? No, because she, she's only uh, level 40 right now. He still carries over for the amount of pulls. Oh, God, God. My mic has been bugging out a lot more recently. Is it still bugging out now? Has it been bugging out this whole time? Like, is my mic still not working or is it like crunchy? Once in a while it flares up. Hmm, I wonder if I wonder if that's just happening with certain volumes. I wonder if my gain is too high. Is that better? I don't know if that's any better. Not too often it's a big issue. We'll see if it bugs out again. Yeah, I wonder if it's like, I wonder if it's because I'm clipping the mic. Like, am I, am I being too loud at certain times where it gets staticky? If that's the case, then I may just need to turn down the gain, so that way I'm not, like, peeking the mic. I'm all for work-life balance. Um, yeah, I think I'll call it here for tonight. Um, we've made a lot of progress. I wasn't actually expecting us to finish, uh, the, um, the Liyue Archon quest. But it's awesome that we did. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for, um, being here. And for sticking around to the end. I really do appreciate it. Um... We'll be back tomorrow for uh, Persona 3 Reload. And yeah, so so we'll do that. And then Monday, uh, we'll be back um, for, I think, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I think I'll do that on Monday. So we'll do that for a bit. Um, but yeah, I hope everybody has a wonderful night. Uh, we're going to go ahead and raid out two let's see yeah because i did say that uh we would raid out to alpha uh anarchy because uh ben is doing the D, &D stream i don't know if uh many of you have already had it on but uh well i want to go ahead and show support to ben and uh the rest of them with playing D, &D. so that that'll be fun so we'll go ahead and raid out to them all right Alright, good night everybody. Uh, hopefully I see you tomorrow. Goodbye.